had there is, I don't know, always, like every other time, it is um, wanting to update. So, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, oh, there we go. Here we are. Here we are, just about now. There. Hi, guys. Hello, happy Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's a lovely day here. Well, I don't know. What, what's the temperature? We better check that out. Temperature here right now is a balmy, well, it says excessive heat warning, uh, 85. So I live in Utah, uh, northern-ish Utah, outside of Salt Lake City, and uh, it is 10 a.m. So 85, 10 a.m. Some of you were like, oh my gosh, 85, at three in the morning it was 85. So um, we are in that period of time, a lot of us, right? Where it's really stinking hot. Uh, so I don't know, low hundreds today, but it's a dry heat. Uh, and if you've never experienced a dry heat or if you've never experienced a non-dry heat, which means humid, uh, you'll understand that a dry heat is very different. So 100 degree dry heat is very different than 100 degree um, humid heat, right? I um, am so glad. I don't know how I'd even function. I don't know how you guys function when you have that high humidity. Uh, my hair definitely does not do well in that type, type of climate. Okay, hi friends. Uh, so I'm gonna take a quick look at the chat and then we'll talk about a few things and then we'll get moving. Um, Tammy said, Tammy won a prize this morning. Congratulations, Tammy. Hi, Peggy, uh, a crafty poodle mom. Oh my goodness, I love that name. Said, good morning, happy, happy Saturday at the gym, watching for now and hopefully we'll be creating later. Oh, I should be at the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a long time. Good for you. Maybe that's what I need. If I could be at the gym on the treadmill or like the stair climber, uh, like I, that's what I need to do. I need to watch, you know, crafty things and then I'd be totally involved and not be thinking about what I'm doing. Uh, so good for you. Peggy says she needs a space of her own. Um, Sarah, uh, it sounds like Sarah has a she shed. So there's some chat going on about she sheds and crafting in the space where you craft. Uh, hi, Terry. So welcome to our newbies who's ready for some fun. Uh, if you are here for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Love, um, love, love newbies, obviously. Um, I love all of you guys, you know that. But I um, always wonder how the newbies find me. Uh, I think from YouTube, but I don't know. So if, if you are new, please pop in and say hello in the chat. Um, if you're watching live, there is a live chat that takes place. I can see it on the right-hand side of my screen, but depending on what kind of device you're um, looking or viewing from, and depending on uh, how you've expanded your video player, you may or may not see the chat. So know the chat's there. And if you wanna jump in and say hello, I would love that, especially if you're new. Tell us that you're new. Uh, and then if you wanna tell us where you're from too, but you guys know anyone who's here, I love to see in the chat, so pop in. While you're there, uh, thumbs up. If you'd give the video a thumbs up, I would sure appreciate that. Um, da, 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 da. Jane, hi Jane. Uh, Jane, our resident health, health. I, I, shouldn't, I, I was gonna say healthcare expert. I shouldn't say that, because Jane, I don't know. I know that you're in the healthcare field and you're a writer. Uh, Jane just posted in the Facebook group um, yesterday or the day before a really fun article that she had written about Barbie and the healthcare industry, which I thought was such a fun take on it. Um, unless you're living under a rock, uh, Barbie is everywhere. Uh, I think the movie opened yesterday, the day before yesterday, I don't know. Um, so uh, I don't know if I'll see it or not, um, but it, it looks it's, it looks like it would be fun. Um, I was thinking this morning and I actually added something to my 2023 trends list. So I always have a trends list going for the whole year because at the end of the year, we do that list. And so the thing that I added to it this morning was Barbie because Barbie is everywhere uh, because of the movie. So you're seeing all kinds of people like um, do different takes on Barbie. Like there's a, um, a local blanket company, oh, that's gonna sound weird, but called Minky Couture. And um, they had an ad yesterday on Instagram of um, people going to a movie and they all had their pink Minky blankets. Well, you know what movie it was, but anyhow. Um, so the pink is everywhere. And I gotta tell you, the the the, uh, the Barbie marketing team, props to the Barbie marketing team because um, it's everywhere. It is everywhere, the movie. So, um, hi Patty, room's looking good. Guess what, you guys, so, uh, 90, I'm going to say 98% done. Uh, I just have to move my traveler's notebooks back in that are on the opposite wall. So that will happen this afternoon. I don't know that I will get the video 
done before um, I'm going out of town next Thursday through Sunday. Um, I, then I'm going out of town for like nine days, Wednesday to Thursday after that uh, to um, teach up in Spokane at the Three Craft Chicks um, Summer Camp at Lake Lanawashi Retreat or event, it's really event. Um, I think between the virtual and in-person, there's like 400 some odd people. So it's a big one, it'll be fun. But I will be gone a long time for that. So I'm hoping somewhere in there, I can get the like the walkthrough of my new creative space studio, craft room, whatever you wanna call it, uh, done. But yeah, it's pretty much done. I worked for like six hours yesterday, well, last night, Nick was golfing. And so um, I thought I'm gonna just finish it and I pretty much did, so very excited. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned and I'll do the full flip through, walk through, whatever it is. Um, the white, yeah, Mindy, totally different, right? It's totally different look. Uh, this is kind of the rest of our house is that white shaker. So it really made sense to just do it in here because this is uh, like the office. So when you first walk in the front door, like in, um, in some homes, when you first walk in the front door, to the right or the left is the office. And so this is the office. So. Um, still crafty, but I wanted to make it look a little bit more like uh, the rest of the house, but that's not why I did it, really, because my space really wasn't functioning for me anymore. Um, and I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, seriously? I work um, from a bin that slides underneath my bed. So we all have different spaces, right? Different spaces. Now, this is my business, so my space needs to work for me. And really, it totally changed, like life did for a lot of us, with um, the pandemic. The way that I do things um, is so different now. I'm usually filming on average at least twice a week, sometimes three times, sometimes four times a week if I've got a couple classes going and what's new Wednesday and then we're together on a Saturday. So really needed to kind of put some thought into how things were set up and uh, for now it's good. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So uh, more on that. Um, Good morning, Lauren. Hi, Tracy uh, from Hot Iowa. Nancy from sunny Ottawa, Ontario. Hi, Mary J. Blige. Um, Mindy said, <laughs> Mindy said, Oklahoma is not a dry heat. She misses the Pacific Northwest heat. Uh, she was Eastern Washington. Um, let's see. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Hi, Terry Littleton. Yes, uh, Kristen, dry heat in Sacramento. Um, one thing, now that I see Kristen, um, that I might as well just bring up, uh, Kristen and I were having some chats back and forth uh, via email earlier this week. When you guys are watching, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay, a lot of times you'll hear me say, uh, you'll find a link for that in the description box of the video down below. Um, for some reason, Kristen was not from her computer ever seeing those links. So kind of, I was like, wow, that's so bizarre because I on, I can see it on my end. Uh, we pulled out Nick's computer, could see it on, on his end. She could see it from her phone, but not her computer. So you're always looking for something that either says more or show more right below the title of the video. But just know there's a ton of links in there um, of things that I'm using. It takes you to the What's New page on my website, all kinds of things. So if you're not seeing those, um, look for the more what's more. And then if you're still not seeing, maybe try another device. Uh, let's see, Nancy, oh, Nancy, look at you. Nancy's just back from an 8K walk with her dogs in the woods to stay cool. Good for you, you guys are starting out your day great. Um, although I've been up since like 5.30 a.m., there's been no exercising going on. Although I will tell you, um, I've said this before, some days I don't leave the house because it's just, I, there's a lot, there's business. Um, yesterday was an example. Um, now it's not to say I didn't like walk in the backyard. Nick and I spent like an hour and a half out in the patio last night, so I am getting outside. But uh, more than 10,000 steps yesterday, you guys, and that is in the house. And I don't have a huge house. It's not like I've got a 40,000 square foot house so I can just walk, you know, a couple laps from one end to the other. Um, yeah, 10,000 steps in the house. So getting at least a little, little exercise, right? Uh, never enough, never enough. Um, oh, there we go, Jane is a health economist. Wow, Jane, that, I don't even know what that means, but that's fascinating, a health economist. Um, all right, let's see. Terry, your screen says still waiting. Um, does anyone else's screen say still waiting? Um, just curious if that's bizarre. Uh, so it sounds like it's good now. Uh, let's see, somebody just, so Peggy said, bet Nick is watching the open this weekend as I am, Lail, watch, as I watch Lael create, yes. Um, Nick was golfing late yesterday afternoon. This is kind of his thing this time of year. Late last yesterday afternoon, today and tomorrow. 
Uh, Nick will not be chiming in today because you guys know, sometimes he likes to just pop in from the golf course. He left his phone at home, so we will not be seeing Nick today. But yes, there is lots of open watching happening at the house. Uh, in fact, we were watching that this morning before he um, before he took off to go golfing. Yes, it is the, um, not the US Open, it is the Open that is in uh, Wales, I think, Wales, right, in, uh, in the UK. Um, Wanda said she was never a Barbie girl. Uh, Jane is doing a list about Barbie today. I love that. That's so fun. Um, that's a really great suggestion. Uh, let's see. We are going to get moving in just a sec. Terry said, love the blouse, Lyle. Thanks, Terry. Uh, there's a little bit of yellow, right? I say I can't wear yellow everywhere because with the complexion, it doesn't work. But if I can get a little pops of yellow, it works. Um, Nancy says, um, amazing, Lyle. I can't even declutter my closet. Oh, Nancy, come see my closet. You don't even want to know. Uh, now that this is done, uh, that's the next project, but that's been a project of mine for like the last 38 years at least, I'm sure. Um, Melissa's driving home from vacation. I hope you had a nice vacation, Melissa. Hi, scrapbook sister. Um, oh, Nancy, I love that. She said the white is so positive and energizing. Definitely makes the room look bigger too. So I know, totally different change. So it's good. It is good. Terry said, do we have a time limit today? We do not. Uh, we have three lists that we'll be doing today, and two of the three lists are single pagers. So um, we shouldn't be super lengthy today, but, you know, famous last words when those things come out of my mouth, right? Um, Carrie is um, hopping on quickly before she goes to run errands. Yeah, Saturdays, you guys, if you're watching live um, or if you're watching the replay because you couldn't watch live because it's Saturdays, right? Uh, if you have younger kids in your life, a lot of times Saturdays are sports um, or you're going to Gymboree, or you're going to the pool, or you're going to a movie because it's so hot. Um, you're doing something with younger folks, whoever they are. Um, so for some of us, it's running errands, it's cleaning the house, it's working, whatever it is. So uh, whether you're here live or watching the replay, I'm just glad you're here. Just glad that you're here. Um, let's see, Kim from to um, Toasty SoCal. Nancy can see lots of links, so good, 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 good. Uh, all right, guess what we're doing? I gotta turn the fan on. Oh, it's still toasty. It is toasty. Um, how did Nick finish? Oh, Tammy, yes. Yeah. So uh, Nick was golf tournament last weekend. Uh, he and his partner, they won their flight. Uh, and then we're out after like the third, well, I don't know how or they do it, but they did not win the entire tournament. But it was still good because, you know, you win your flight. I don't think it quite pays for the tournament, but um, you get some good little prizes, cash and... Uh, they had some side betting going on too, so that helped. He gets a, uh, anyhow, yeah. So um, didn't win the whole thing, but um, with the way that handicaps work with the tournament, really anyone could win. The worst player could win, the best player could win. So you never know. Uh, hi, Reverend Joy Ellen Lipsky from San Jose. Hi, Diane and Susan. Hi, Susan from Hotlanta, I bet. Uh, Stacy. Um, Stacy said, question, this is a great question. We work in traveler's notebook inserts, but what do the inserts go into? Well, Tracy, they go into a traveler's notebook. Um, mm, well, you can kind of see a little bit, but not really. So they go in covers like this, or uh, covers like lots of different types of covers. Um, that's what I put mine into. I will also, well, here, we'll just show you, okay? Really quick, we'll just show you uh, one of the cupboards. I'm just going to, okay, see that? that comes out for me. And um, these are the ones that I kind of need to have right near me, either because they're part of a class or a lot of times uh, these guys are from some of our past lists. So I pull those out because we reference them. So that's where mine live. But most of my inserts uh, right now are like this when I'm finished with an insert. So this is one that we are still working on. When I'm finished with an insert, I actually take off the cover and take it all apart and I recover it. So there's a video here on my YouTube channel about that process, how I do that. Um, but these are, like I said, those are ones that um, I still sometimes reference when we are listing. So they are not in a traveler's notebook right now, but downstairs, that's what still has love to come up today, um, are quite a few of my traveler's notebook covers that I put those um, inserts in, okay? so. Uh, that is, that is, that's that. Okay, let's move this back up again. Okay, there we go. Uh, great question though. That's a really good question. Whoo, I need my face fan. I'm going to have to pull out the face, the face fan. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Nancy, yes, th thumbs up. Thank you. Hi, Kim. Uh, da -da -da -da. 
Joanne is uh, cleaning her scrap closet today. Joy is boxing up her house, her move day. Oh my goodness, Joy, your move day is uh, like what, week and a half. Very exciting. Mitzi, Mitzi won today too. Mitzi is um, still in Utah, uh, still visiting from Washington. Yeah, I'm missing the cooler weather, I'm sure you are. Um, okay, friends, I am going to, um, Nancy said she loves the pull outdoors. Um, I designed the whole thing uh, because I knew what I needed. And when you can start from scratch, which I did, uh, then you can decide what you need and where you need pull-out drawers and where you need a pull-out shelf. My little Epson, uh, created, my Epson PM400 printer pulls out on a little shelf and then I can do the printing and then goes right back in, which is pretty awesome. So I'll show you guys all that, all that stuff to share, um, all that stuff to share. So um, Joy, good luck with your packing. Good luck with your moving because we will not see you before then. Um, Jessie is packing for her cruise. She's leaving Monday. Good luck with your packing for that and um, have fun on your cruise. I saw something really funny the other day uh, that said, it was a little meme kind of about packing and it said, um, here I am sitting, you know, wearing the same yoga pants for the eighth day in a row. But then when it comes to packing for a trip, ooh, I better bring another suitcase. I might need that ball gown, right? Just kind of, sometimes when you pack, you end up bringing things that you think that you need that, why? Anyhow, uh, Nick and I have a long-standing running joke because I will bring everything but the kitchen sink if I can. Unless you limit me, like we did when we went on our big 18-day trip to Europe, and then we took a carry-on and a backpack, which that was that was good. It worked. Okay, friends. So um, let us let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about the schedule. Uh, this is the last Saturday that we will be listing until the oh yes, my calendar until the 12th of August. Okay, so I will be out of town next weekend um, on a quick, short little trip uh, with some friends. And then the weekend following that, I will be teaching uh, in Spokane at the Three Craft Chicks uh, retreat event. So we will not be listing together until Saturday at the 12th. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> Let me grab my water. Um, another thing that is important to note, um, I totally let the calendar get away from me. I need to send out, I will send out this afternoon, the um, email with the information, the class information for the August setup for the Summer Traveler's Notebook Kit. So um, if you ordered that and you're like, when is class? It's, it's going to be two, this coming Tuesday. So just um, watch for that. That'll come out later today. Quick set. Um, mm, I love it. Joy says she purged scrap goodies for her teacher friends. Um, that's what I did too, Joy. Love that you're sharing with teachers. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, what else do we have to talk about? Let me grab my handy dandy notebook, which is across the room. Oh, we need to talk about the prizes. So prizes from last week, there were three. Uh, there were three stamps I did. The first one was the in the box stamp set. Uh, in the box stamp set, you guys, that sold out almost, almost probably within a couple of weeks. Um, and they are back in, so they arrived yesterday. So if you were waiting for the in the box stamp set, to come back in stock, it is now in stock. Um, and I'm pretty sure maybe all but two of the orders that had them on it, um, because I put them up last weekend saying, hey, they're gonna be back in in a week, but I used it last weekend on our Saturday. So anyone that had ordered it, uh, that went out yet, those went out yesterday. So except for two people, I think, um, which those will go out Monday. So in the box was one of the prizes. In the box stamp set went to D. Miller, 2055. So D. Miller was our first prize winner. Uh, the second was It's a Date, the It's a Date stamp set. That went to Tammy Higgins. And the third one was in the new stamp set, and that went, went to Mitzi Clarendon. Um, you guys, with any of the prizes, if you've already purchased that uh, in the past, um, just tell me, and then we'll figure out something else for you, okay? So those were the two, or the three prizes from last week. Uh, we'll have two more prizes today. The way that you participate in the prizes, it's all an after party. So you don't have to be present to win because I don't do them live because so many of you can't watch live and I don't want to, you know, penalize you. Um, every so often I do do prizes live. And so you just know because I tell you. Um, but all after party, meaning that you leave a comment on the video when it's over. And you have usually at least a week because um, that's the time frame between when we're 
together on a Saturday, together the next Saturday. This time you'll have, what, two weeks, three weeks? Till we're together again on the 12th. So you just leave a comment on the video before we're together again, and then I just pick people random. I just sort, and then just wherever my finger stops, there it stops, and that's the person that wins. So um, that's how you participate in the prizes. Um, okay, friends. Um, oh, Kristen has a, Kristen, her happy mail is arriving today. It looks like that's very good. Nancy's is in transit, hoping it will be this week. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Pamela, you are doing a full hip replacement in August. Wow, yes. So I love your outlook. You're planning on catching up on some projects. I love that. And then that means someone else had, someone else had, um, someone else just had some, um, some rec recouping, recovering, right? Uh, Jen's happy place. I'm doing phone scrapping while recovering from knee replacement surgery. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm glad you're keeping yourself busy and I hope it's going well. Uh, I think that, well, I think, I don't know. I've never had any kind of replacement surgery, hip or knee. Uh, we have a good friend who had a um, knee or hip, um, but seems like the way they do things, um, well, definitely like many things, uh, easier recovery, quicker recover than it used to be, right? So at least we've got that going for us. So those of you that are going through um, your surgeries, you're recovering, you're recuperating, um, you've got health issues, I just hope that you take care of yourself and, um, and yeah, be positive, right? Be positive as much as you can. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, uh, jo Joanne, you ordered two. Um, Joanne, I'm not sure. Uh, will you do me a favor? Send me another email, but we'll fix it, right? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> Stacy, I'm sorry, Stacy. Stacy said, you have ruined me, LOL. Using all my old stamps, your sets work so much better. Um, probably what the difference is, uh, is that your stamps that you may have had or may have are acrylic stamps. So a um, big difference between acrylic stamps and photopolymer stamps. If you ever see a big price difference in stamps, that's usually the reason why uh, acrylic, much less expensive, most likely made in China, um, photopolymer, polymer, photo um, totally different manufacturing process. Uh, many of the photopolymers um, are done in the US, all of mine are made in the US, and just seem to be a lot crisper, uh, much better quality. So there's a room for all of them, right? Sometimes you just wanna buy really inexpensive stamps um, room for that. Some of you may have your red rubber stamps, um, but photopolymer stamps are, um, all my stamps are photopolymer, and you will see a quality difference in that, but you'll also see a price difference in that, right? Um, okay, friends, I think those are the only, um, oh, I know, there's one more thing. Is Belinda Keller here today? Belinda, are you here? Belinda, I saw you left a little message on um, your YouTube comments saying I think it was your birthday today. So happy birthday, Belinda. Um, whether you're here or not, we'll still wish you happy birthday. And anyone else whose birthday or anniversary or special day or whatever it is, um, happy whatever insert. Happy insert fill in the blank to you. All right. Uh, I think we're ready to go, friends. So I am going to rotate the camera. Uh, we'll turn on the lights and we'll get going, okay? Shoo, here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh, hold on. I didn't quite, I didn't quite get that. There we are. There we are. All right. Uh, Scrapped NH is her daughter's 25th birthday. Happy birthday to your daughter. Um, yes, happy birthday and um, speedy recovery. Speed, happy birthday, speedy recovery, whatever it is that you are in the middle of. Um, yes. All right. Let me turn the lights on. Woo! There's some bright lights. Oh. Oh, that is the weirdest thing ever. Hang on. Uh, how did I do that? Huh. Um, okay. <laughs> so I press one. Okay, I gotta look into that. Why isn't that? Um, all right, I'm very confused. When I turn this power on, it turns off the other one. Wow, I don't know, that was just bizarre. Uh, they're new lights, so kind of don't really know. They're new lights that I'm just getting used to. Uh, Terry, so Terry, I don't remember if I, I don't think I did. I don't think I had these last week. So 
Um, last week when I, when we were doing our Saturday, I um, had a black and white striped mat here that I was, um, that I was working on. So Dandy said three-way switches. They're two totally separate lights, independent lights, independent plugs from each other. So, um, yeah, that's the part that was really, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Danny. That was a weird one. Um, cause three-way switch would make sense, but, but not on these. Anyhow, so last week um, I was filming on a um, black, small black and white square striped mat that I've had for years from Ikea uh, because also in everything in here, surface, uh, my, big, my big workspace, high tabletop desk, whatever, everything is new. So um, I'm trying to be a little protective of my work surface. And so um, I was working on the black and white stripe and Terry said, hey, did you know that you can buy this uh, semi-transparent, uh, semi-opaque, these desk mats from Ikea? And I said, oh my goodness. Oh, Colleen, thank you. I had totally forgotten. Thanks for the reminder to plug that in. Uh, you would think after hundreds of these, hundreds and hundreds, I would remember, but no, thank you. Um, yes, so they are so awesome. And oh my gosh, what a bargain. They're like $5 or something. So. I'd say it's about 24 inches by probably 18 inches, maybe, but fabulous because it's still uh, transparent, well, semi, but then I can also um, wipe it off or and it helps to protect the little work surface. So that's awesome. Yes, Ikea. Ikea's awesome. Okay. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Let's look at our list from last week. We did three, no, we did four lists last week, didn't we? We did four lists last week. So our first one was things on my to-do list that aren't getting done. We used the new um, list builder to-do stamp set, right? So that was from the to-do list. We also used the in-the-box stamp set. So um, my little items on my list were using the in-the-box stamp set. And I used the simple vintage Berry Fields uh, collection. I, this morning, kind of finished this little cluster down here. Uh, if you were with us last week, there was a big trapped white space here. And so I kind of fussed with it for a while and I'm like, I mean, you know what, I'm over it. I, I'm, it's not coming to me what I wanna do. So I'll just set it aside. And when I pick it up again, literally it'll come in like one minute. And that's exactly what happened. This morning, I pulled this out. I pulled out uh, the container of uh, the simple vintage Berry Field stuff. This little guy popped right out. I went, oh, that'll be perfect. Use the um, It's a Date stamp on it. And there you go. So that was a fun list about things that are on my to-do list that aren't getting done. All right, our second list was um, things I don't leave home without, right? So this one, actually both of these lists, we use the little things. So the Simple Stories Little Things collection, all of what I'm showing you available on my website. Uh, just click the, um, click. well, just go to laylbymail.com and you'll see it all. Uh, so this was just a fun one, did a, some layering with a couple of different papers. We did a little bit of inking the edges. Um, this was currently. So we usually do a currently, I usually like to do a currently maybe every six to eight weeks just to um, update kind of what is happening in your life. This guy, I did not have a chance to finish this morning. I was getting ready to start working on it and I went, oh my gosh, uh, I still have to put the lights up. I have to put the camera stand up. I have to do all that. So didn't get to finish this, but this is just a quick one. Um, I just need to pull out the list builder currently stamp set again, and then um, just add a couple more prompts there and I'll be done. Uh, Virginia said, I love this double page with the lemons. Yes, with the lemons. No, um, sometimes we talk about a lot of you I know, you like things to coordinate, right? So you do a lot of lists like this. You do a lot of double page lists. Even if you don't really have anything to put on the other side, um, you still do double page lists because you like them to look kind of cohesive. Uh, we talked about, I think last week, that this was a great way to um, have two separate lists, but still make them feel cohesive by using the same collection, products from the same collection, or similarly colored products. These wouldn't I wouldn't have to have both of these from the same collection, but if I was using similarly colored products, if I used, pulled in a little yellow over here, um, something like that, even using um, the black here, I stamped in black and we had the black background here, that would help to make two different lists 
um, work together side by side if that was something that you normally kind of struggle with. I, I, I only have a single page list, but how am I gonna do this? Because um, I need to put something next to it, the opposite facing page, so there you go. So um, two more lists. And then the last list that we did was in the news. So this is a list that we do every month uh, in the news. This would have been for the month of June. And I totally switched it up. I said last week, I'm like, I'm gonna switch it up from what I normally do. I still used um, a stamp from the In the News stamp set, was those little newspapers, but I switched it up and used some stamps from Carrie Bradford, the Alpha Stamps, to do that title. And then I just did three photos over here. Sometimes I have lots of photos, this time I just decided to do a few photos. So there you go. Uh, this one I just need to do a little bit more work on. I need to add the date, which I think I'll probably add right up there. We'll see. And then I need something, probably a word strip sticker down here. And then that one will be good. That one will be good. Um, Terry said she used the block stamps. Um, the Is it this one you mean in the box? Terry, to prep a mini traveler's notebook for a friend going on an Alaska cruise. This set is a must have. Terry, send it, or Terry, better yet, post it in the Facebook group. I, I wanna see it. And then if you post it in the Facebook group, then we, everyone can see it. All right, friends, uh, one thing really quick. Let's talk about what's happening. Did you see that? Um, this is not uncommon to happen with your traveler's notebook inserts. Your traveler's notebook inserts can only get so big until pages will start coming out of the little um, the little staples, right? So the more stuff that you add, the more, even though I don't add anything that's dimensional, I don't add pop dots, foam squares, I don't add chipboard, I don't add, you know, uh, foam stickers, I don't add things that definitely um, add dimension, but still, um, when you look at this, it's not even done yet, versus a brand new, nothing in it, um, insert, there's a big difference, right? Look at that, there is a huge difference. And this is what eventually happens. Not, Don't mind my little bent pages there. Um, but it gets really big, right? So here's the baby bear, here's the mama bear, here's the papa bear. We'll look at those. So eventually what happens is your pages will separate from uh, the staples, because the staples can only hold so much. Now, um, what I do and what I had mentioned before is when I'm all done, when I am completely done with an insert, all of my lists are done when I'm completely done, then I will take it apart. I take out the staples, I take off the cover. Um, this one's not too bad. Generally what happens is the covers start to get really icky just because it's just working, you know, right? Working and on your work surface, things get dirty. Uh, so I will take that off and I will take a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and I will make a new cover. Even if your cover is nice and pristine still, I still like to make a new cover because what tends to happen is the more you add, the more the pages start to stick out. So I want the pages to be protected by a cover. So there you go. Anyhow, um, that is, like I said, there's a video of how I do that and um, the things that I use to recover uh, when I do that. But I just wanted to address that because you probably saw those pages will start to separate. Now, I don't do any of that until I'm all the way done because um, if I recover at the very beginning, then I'm probably gonna solve the problem. I don't know how wide to make that cover. Um, depending on how I restitch, I shouldn't have pages coming out, but that's kind of the last step that I do uh, when, I'm, is when I'm done with a full insert I recover. Okay, so first list today uh, is Trends I hope that never come back in style. So if you received my email or saw um, on social media or saw the blog post, I kind of teased a little bit at this list. Uh, teased, <laughs> teased. Uh, I had said uh, low rise jeans and um, what did I call it? Oh, teased bangs. Low rise jeans and teased bangs. Um, those are two things on my list of things that I hope never come back in style. Now, um, for me, everything was fashion, well, fashion meaning clothing and hairstyles, but um, it could be something else for you. Um, I have to say, if you are sporting a mullet, a mullet is one of the things on my list. 
If you are sporting a mullet, or you love your MC Hammer parachute pants, or you really look good in low-rise jeans, don't kid yourself. If I looked like that in low-rise jeans, I would wear low-rise jeans all the time. Um, any of these things. If you are doing any of these things, wearing any of these things, embracing any of these things, I am not poking fun at you at all. Um, it's just me saying, for me, I hope these things never come back in style. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, this morning, all morning, I was listening after Nick left, and I turned off the, the open, the golf match, and I um, was listening to music, and I was listening to 80s music because it kind of tied in with uh, many of these things that were from the 80s era for me. So that is our plan. Our first list is um, trends I hope never come back in style. Now, it may be um, you may not be doing fashion related or hairstyle related. It may be maybe food choices. Maybe you hope that the Totino's pizza rolls never come back in style. Now, I don't know if they were ever in style or ever went out of style. It just reminds me when I was a kid, sometimes that's what you know you would, you would have. Or um, Uncrustables. Or, so it could be food, um, it could be art supplies, it could be furniture, uh, it could be um, colors, color palettes. Like maybe you hope that um, the avocado green uh, appliances and shag carpet from back in the 70s. Maybe you hope that never comes back in style. So I always like to say if there's a list topic that I'm working on that doesn't quite fit what you want to do, switch it up, right? Maybe there's cars that you would never hope, you hope never come back in style, like the Pinto or um, I don't know, maybe you hated Volkswagens, whatever it is. So feel free to switch it up if it doesn't work for you. Um, uh, Terry said, she just asked a question. Um, um, and okay, so a couple things I'm seeing here. Diane said, wish you would do a little class on saving pictures from the net on your phone to print for things like in the news. Can't seem to get it to work. Um, I can do probably a really quick video on that. That should be really easy to do, Diane. Um, Terry said, Lael is your travel stamp sets designed already. Creating the ones I did yesterday opened my eyes to a need for that set. Um, it is in, um, it's in final stages of design. Yes. Um, so it should, it should be ready to ship in August, um, with the August stamp release. So there are, I think five or six stamp sets, uh, that will release in August. Um, and that is one of them. Um, uh, Mitzi. So Mitzi said, I thought Farrah Fawcett was so beautiful. Yes. Farrah Fawcett, uh, is on my list. Uh, it's not Farrah Fawcett. It's really like the Farrah Fawcett hair. Again, if you are rocking this hairstyle, I love it for you. But for me, not. it's just not, not attractive for me, on me. Um, I had a hard time because I had to find a picture that showed her hairstyle. But she's so freaking beautiful. Uh, I should say was, right? She was so amazingly beautiful that I kept trying to find a picture. I mean, in most of the photo, well, in that one, she looks great, right? I'm like, how do I find a photo that shows her hairstyle um, when she's so beautiful? Anyhow, 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 anyhow. Um, Virginia said there are updated versions of the Farrah Fawcett hairstyle. Apparently, it has already come back in style. Yes, and that's kind of the, the whole layers thing. I think hers was just... I mean, her poor little face was so, like, overcome by her hair. I mean, again, beautiful hair. She's beautiful. But, all right. So, I am going to use uh, the 49 and Market Spectrum Gardenia Collection. So, this one I used a couple weeks ago when we did this list, the More Life Lessons list. Um, so, what ended up happening, I wanted to use photos for this list. So, I went to Google. And I searched for things like mullet, like moon boots, like shoulder pads, like neon clothing. Um, and I just saved the photos to, um, I found them, uh, right clicked on them and clicked uh, save photo. And um, as I was started working with them, I'm like, oh my goodness, well, so funny because so many of these colors that happen to be in the photos that I found work really well with Spectrum Gardenia. So this is going to be a two page list. Uh, this photo that I printed out ahead of time. Uh, so you know, this photo is four inches wide by eight inches tall. Well, no, it's about eight and a quarter. Four inches wide by eight and a quarter. Um, 
I did this in Photoshop because I wanted a very specific size and I knew how to do that. Um, if you don't have Photoshop skills and you have the Epson Picture Mate PM400 printer, it's linked in the description box of the video, that's the one I use um, for 99% of um, the photo printing that I do for my Traveler's Notebook. You can, uh, with that printer and the Epson Creative Print app for your phone, you can um, create those little squares and then you could just cut them out. So you could print this on a five by seven and then just cut those little squares out if you wanted to do something similar where you had them all kind of lined up like that. So that is my plan for the right side. Uh, for the left side, I, so I was originally, I originally had all of these beautiful papers out um, from the Spectrum Gardenia foundation set. These were from the foundation set. <clears throat> And then when I started thinking about how I wanted to lay out this side, I decided I'm not using these. I'm going to use one of the solids. So this is from the, oh no, it's not. It's the solid, it's the opposite side of that. So I'm using the solid, the B side, I guess. Uh, and that is going to go over here. So um, that will be my base. I forgot to get my trigger out. I have to think about where those are now. Uh, I know where they are, because that's an easy one. That's an easy one for me to know where it is. Mitzi said the Uncrustables from Costco are better than the ones from the grocery store. There's more peanut butter in the Costco ones. She thinks they're made specifically for Costco. Um, Mitzi said there was a rumor that Farrah hair was pushed out by using cardboard pieces pinned back behind the curl to push them forward for photo shoots. Wow, that's crazy. But you know, the things that they'll do, right? The things that people do for fashion. All right, so I need to narrow this down. Um, this is a six by eight. So from the six by eight paper pack, Spectrum Gardenia, I am going to trim this down to, normally, okay, I'm gonna start, I want to make this five, it's six, but I don't want really any white on the side. So I am going to trim half of an inch from both sides. Oh, that wasn't half. That wasn't even close. I think I did a quarter. Did I? Oh, who knows what I did. I did it right the first time. All right, so there we go. Normally, I am trimming this to four and three quarters but I left it at five. The reason I'm going to leave it at five is because I would like to have this go. I don't want to have any white border around the left and right edges. So that will do that for me. I need to grab my corner rounder and I want to round the outside left corners. So like that, and I do that because my inserts have rounded corners. Karen, if you're here today, I don't know if I've seen you or not. I can't remember if I've told you. I have a whole bunch of inserts for you, uh, the squared ones. So reach out uh, when you're back. All right, I am going to trim this just a tad bit more. My insert is standard wide. So it is five inches wide by 8.25 inches tall. My paper, I had trimmed to five inches wide but it was a little too wide. Even though this is five and this was five, a little bit too wide because I lose a little bit um, in the center from the staples. So I just needed to trim that down a little bit more. All right, now I am going to grab out a different adhesive. Okay, bear with me. Oh, here we go, there we are. I'm grabbing some double-sided tape. The reason I'm grabbing some double-sided tape, I'm going to run that along that inside edge as close to the edge as I can get. And the reason why I want to do that is, might as well just put this everywhere. Uh, the reason I want to do that is because my insert is curving now, right? It's curving because there's so much that's happened here. I need to make sure that that side of the piece I'm going to adhere sticks down really well and doesn't lift. So I'm just using double-sided tear tape here. This is a um, half inch. All right, and then I need to just put some in there too. Okay, 
Uh, one of the things with your double-sided tape, I'll show you in a sec, but I need to get these center pieces off. Um, I'm just using a little craft pick or paper piercer to do that um, because it makes it much easier than my fingernails trying to get under there, right? Okay, so the inside is done. Now what I want to do is I am going to just expose maybe about a quarter of space right there. I'm going to expose again, maybe about a quarter-ish, a third to a quarter there. And I'm going to do that on all four edges. Um, and this doesn't just apply to, really applies to any time you're using double-sided tape. Um, if you just reveal um, a bit of that um, adhesive, the really sticky part, um, you'll notice I've had the, those little, uh, I don't even know what you call those things, the little papers uh, that are uh, revealing the adhesive. If you have just a little bit um, exposed, that gives you a lot of wiggle room. So I can come in here and figure out exactly where this needs to go. Um, if I have not left, um, if I have not done that and if I've exposed all of that adhesive, that's impossible to do because that stuff is so sticky, it is just going to stick as soon as I put it down. That makes sense. Uh, that gave me a lot of wiggle room. And anytime you're using double-sided tape, uh, I think that's a great tip to use because um, it gives you the wiggle room. My friend Joey from um, Photo Play Paper taught me that. I thought that was just genius. Deborah, she had scars on her legs. She had to wear a lot of body makeup. I did not know that. Look at all the things we're learning about Farrah Fawcett today. All right, so that will go right there. Let's work on this piece now because I'm not quite yet ready for that. So um, that's my background. I need some white cardstock. So um, I will do my list on white cardstock. There we go. And this is going to run the height of the page or height of the pink, but I'm going to leave uh, the pink kind of now border on the edges, okay? So, oh, let's put this away because that is, and that's pointy. We don't want that to, it's retractable, so it's nice, but. Um, all right, so I know I need that to be eight inches tall. So I am working with an eight and a half by 11, and that's what I always work with when I'm working with white cardstock for my Traveler's Notebooks because, uh, remember, the height of the inserts I use, 8.25. And um, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half, so there's not going to be a lot of extra waste. I want that piece to be, let's look, I think I'd like to have about half inch, half inch, that's five, then that would make this guy four. I want it to be four inches wide. So the white cardstock I use is a Nina Bright White. There is no texture to it at all. Um, and that is something that you need to kind of think about when you are using cardstock. Um, if you are writing on it or stamping on it, it is nice that if, if it's a nice flat, if it doesn't have a texture, because the texture then won't interfere with your writing or your stamping. So think um, think back to like basil cardstock and the orange peel texture, if you know what I mean. Um, that sometimes was really hard to write on and almost impossible to stamp on because that texture is interfering. Um, I always use that nice flat bright white. That I have linked in the description box of the video. I buy it on Amazon, like many, many, many sheets at a time. Um, but after a lot of you were asking for um, smaller packs, then I've now broken those down into smaller packs. So you get from Amazon or you get um, from me in smaller packs, whatever it is, but that is what I use. So I will do that. And that will be kind of my border. I'll have that nice pink border. Now I'm not going to put that down yet because I want to do, um, let me look, hang on. I gotta look at my little sketch. Um, oh, no stamping here. So if I was going to do any stamping, I would work on this off the page. So I'd work on my list over here and then once I had it done, I'd put it, I'd adhere it to my page. Um, the reason I would work on it off the page, when I get, deeper into my insert, as much as I can 
work off the page if I'm stamping, it makes it easier. I can still stamp here, um, it just, I have to be aware of a few more things, mainly kind of what's happened before it. So uh, this, I'm okay, I'll go ahead and adhere this now. Uh, somebody mentioned something a minute ago about um, the two new, or at least one of the new, uh, 49 and Market collections. Um, my order shipped yesterday. So there are two new collections. One is a really fun, really bright, vibrant summer collection. And the other one is Christmas. So um, watch for those. Those will um, go up on the website later this week. And What's New Wednesday? There'll be a What's New Wednesday this week where I'll show you. I should have it by then. Uh, if I have it by then. I also have um, an order coming from American Crafts today, which I'm thinking is the new Chamel and Crate Paper line. Or Crate Paper lines, okay? So, uh, stay tuned. And stay tuned for What's New Wednesday. What's New Wednesday, if you are not familiar, um, when I'm in town, and if I have new products that have come in to show, we get together here on my um, YouTube channel, and I show you what's new live, and we walk through it, and I show you all the pieces, and talk about what I love about it, and why I brought it in, and things like that. Um, hi, Carla. Nice to see you from sunny Arkansas. Marilee says she remembers when you first had that tape trick. You now do it all the time. Yeah, that's a good one. That is for sure a good one. Um... Mitzi is talking to Deborah. said, um, reminded her when Deborah was talking about Farrah Fawcett, um, Heidi Klum, um, guess she had her legs insured. One was for one million, but the other was less because of scars. Interesting. Um, I think, um, I'm trying to think who else. I know that there are some famous people that do get certain body parts insured because it's part of their living, right? So if you are a model, you're a hand model, and all of a sudden you burn your hands, then you can't make a living anymore, right? Um, Susan, Susan said, are you talking about simple stories, simply vintage Dear Santa? Love, 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 I'm not. Um, I'm talking about 49 and Market has um, a Christmas and a summer uh, that'll be coming in next week. I do have all four of the simple stories, um, Christmas collections on order, they just haven't started shipping yet. Uh, to manufacture or to, to retailers like me. But um, Susan, I love Dear Santa as well. I used, um, used, ordered uh, Dear Santa as part of my December documented mini book project kit this year. All right, I pulled this guy. I thought this was so fun, this viewfinder reel, but I loved all of the colors. And before, I did this this morning. All of this was set up on Thursday. So, so funny that this, the colors in this look totally, I mean, totally work, totally work. So um, this is going to go down here, kind of like this. I just have to figure out, obviously I can't get all the colors in there. So I just have to figure out which ones I want to get in there. Uh, but that's my plan, that will go right there. So I'm gonna kind of let that sit for a minute. I don't think I got that very straight. Oh well, oh well, no worries. I do see that I need to do an outline here too. So my big focus for the title is on trends, right? Is on trends. So I thought these guys would be fun to use. Um, I've had these for quite a while. I don't know if I've ever like used them or shown them in one of our Saturday sessions. So these are um, block alpha stickers that is a six by eight sheet these are from everyday explorers um, i have four colors i have the black with white letters i have the white with black letters letters green with white and red with white you guys these are both um in the in the christmas and july sale so these are both red and green uh, marked down at 40 percent off so you'll see those in the description or um in the one i'm using but i'm going to use the red uh, the red i'm going to use the black okay i'm going to use the black and i'm going to spell the word trends I'm gonna take out my little six inch ruler and my little uh, reverse grip tweezers and pull those letters. I'm going to line them up on my ruler. So on my ruler, I'm just using that horizontal line right there, okay? So I'm lining them up on my ruler so that they are straight. 
I want them to be straight, right? I'd like them to be straight. Now I'm gonna overlap these just a little bit, just because I want to. The first reason I lose, use, lose, sometimes I lose the ruler. The first reason I'm using the ruler is so those little things are straight. Because I'm working on a piece of white cardstock that doesn't have any lines, this will help me make sure I'm straight. Oh my gosh. That, I'm like, why am I so hot? The fan was not even facing me. That's why. That's why. So what are you guys doing today? Are you listening with me? Are you working? Are you at the gym? Love that. Um, at the gym. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I do not love the gym. I'm saying I love the person that said she was at the gym watching earlier. Don't love the gym. I wish I did. But I don't. Uh, Gracie Creates is using Vicky's color study for this list since she don't have the collection, but I can do something similar. Yes, Gracie Creates. Um, and really, you guys know, you could use any collection, right? Any of the products that you have. These just happens to be the one that I'm pulling. But Color Study works very well because it's very similar. The, the color palette is very similar to this one, right? Bright colors. Um, and it works because uh, I have so many different colors going on here that uh, it helps to have a collection that has a lot of different colors. All right, so here we go. Uh, the main part of my title is trends. These are trends I hope never come back in style. So trends will go right here. This guy will come down here. I need to be thinking if I need room for something. Before I put this down, if I want to do something like that, just to bring a little bit more color in, I think I will. So before I put trends down, I better add a little bit of adhesive on the back of this little butterfly here. Um, let's see, I gotta see, I gotta see, I gotta see. Um, Sarah's working on her This Is Me Traveler's Notebook. I love that with that kit. Uh, Virginia's crafting. She's working on a layout for a design team. Oh, very fun. Valerie is listing with us on her new desk. Uh, that new desk is relevant because um, it's my old desk. Valerie has my old desk, which I love that. That's so fun. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Val. So glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Val acquired the desk and another piece of, um, actually two more pieces of furniture that were in my craft room. Val lives not, lives not too far from me, so that worked for her. Okay, uh, let's see what else we're doing today. Uh, Julie got an early walk with the dog, did your rounds at the hospital, finished grocery shopping, now home to craft. Holy moly, Julie, you've done more in your day than a, a lot of people, good for you. Um, mini, Irene is mini book crafting today and live captured and best friends albums. Very good. Mindy's hanging out with her grandson, Iverson. What a fun name. Enjoy that, Mindy. Um, Dandy. Dandy. That's just Dandy. Dandy said, I just finished setting up a lail station in my craft room and still flipping and rearranging the room. Pamela's going to lunch with hubby and sons. I love it. Um, Irene's still in her PJs. And you know what? Good for you. Sometimes we just need that, right? There's no shame in that. Uh, I tell you what, if there's one thing I think we learned from the pandemic, that yes, it is okay to stay in your pajamas all day. If you needed that permission, I think the, the, I think the permission was given to you during the pandemic, right? So just keep rolling with it. Um, oh, Tammy has bronchitis. Oh, yuck. I'm sorry, Tammy. That's no fun. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. All right, still, still working with this. Oh, we got to finish our title. Trends. Um, I hope never come back in style. So I will write that down here. I hope never come back in style. I have to write pretty small. I hope never come back in style. There we go. Trends, I hope never come back in style. I need to, <clears throat> excuse me, take my little ruler here. And I just need to do a little separator, okay? I just need to do a little separator. There we go. So then it's separating from what's going to happen here. 
Um, I'm thinking I better do this. Well, I know I keep coming back to that. I want to add that, but I'm going to add this first. It's going to be quite colorful, friends. It is quite a colorful list. Um, Kathy's working on an album for her daughter. Uh, very fun. Terry's getting ready to tackle a craft room and going to work on another trip, Traveler's Notebook, for a friend. So that she hopes to turn on to the joys of Traveler's Notebooks. I love that, Terry. Yes. Convert, convert, convert. Convert. Uh, Denise is still in her nightgown, too. I love it. I love that, you guys. I love that. Nice Saturday morning. Or for some of you, it's Saturday afternoon. Yes. Enjoy. Be, um, enjoy. Be comfortable. Okay. So now what I'm doing over here, the reason why I wanted this to be narrow is because I am going to use rub-ons. Okay, we're using rub-ons again. Hi, Melanie. Nice to see you. Um, Betty said, since your photos are narrower than usual, could you use the other half of your circle thing beside the photo? So I could. So what Betty's talking about, I said I'm only going to use part of this. So if I wanted, I could use the other part over here somewhere, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I am pulling out the, or some of the rub-ons from uh, Spectrum Gard Gardenia. These are called the extras. Um, so there are, I think there are eight sheets of these, different, um, different ones, but, oh Lordy, hang on, just, there's another one. Uh, this one. There's two that I was... Okay, this one and this one. I remembered that I needed those other two out because I maybe was thinking about using them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these words and one of these words is going to go right along here. Okay? One of my words is going to go right along here. And then I will use... I think I'm going to end up using just a little bit of this to kind of fill in the extra space, that rub on. So... Um, forever. Trends I hope never come back in style. Forever, forever would work. Uh, believe, believe would work, right? I believe that they'll never come back in style. So what I need to figure out is based on what word I use here and the color I use here, that means I probably don't need to have that color over here. So if I end up with believe, right? If I end up with believe, then I don't need to have the blue. If I end up with forever, I don't know, I think the forever is going to be a little bit too red. Um, so I think we're going to use believe. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of rub on 101. Um, every time that we've used rub ons over the last couple of weeks, I like to cover this because I think it's important. Um, rub ons have been around for a long time. It's kind of like a transfer, um, a little transfer decal ish. If you think about, okay. This to me is the easiest way to explain a rub-on if you don't know what a rub-on is until I show you. Um, when I was a little kid, you'd have the little tattoos, right? You'd have the little tattoos that you'd peel off the backing and you'd put on your hand and then you'd let it get wet. And that rub-on, or excuse me, rub-on, the tattoo would transfer from the transfer sheet onto your, um, onto your skin, right? Onto your skin. So that's basically what a rub-on is, but it's different. Um, Anytime I start working with a new rub-on sheet, so this is a sheet, um, you have, there are two parts to it. You have the transfer, the rub-on, and then you have a protective backing. Um, I like to make sure that those stay together when I start working with a sheet. So I use the life from here on this list a couple weeks ago. So I use that piece. Um, it looks like a sticker, almost looks like a clear sticker. There's no border to it. Um, but because I knew I was going to use that one, the very first thing I did was I stapled the transfer sheet or the rub-on sheet, I stapled it to the backer sheet. The reason I did that is as soon as I cut that apart, now those two sheets may no longer stick together. I don't want them to separate. If they separate, this guy is going to end up somehow on something like that and part of it will transfer off onto my little scratch paper or my project and I don't want that to happen. So I staple them at the top uh, so they stick together. Now I want believe, so I am just going to come in and cut the believe away from the sheet. 
I'm leaving a little part that says believe it or that says believe in yourself because I don't need that. That's not pertinent to what I'm doing here. So I'm just coming in and trimming that little piece away. Okay, so that's still good. Now I have the two pieces. I have the rub on or the transfer little piece here and I have the backer sheet. So the backer I'm going to get rid of. Um, question, Virginia, have I ever done a list on scrapbooking trends? Um, you know what, I don't think we have. I'd have to look at the idea book because that would be my master of knowing uh, what's there, but I don't think we have. Um, I want to say we haven't, but some of you may know. Uh, oh, where am I? Oopsie, here we go. So now I'm taking that sheet and I want that to go right here. Okay, it's going to go right there. So I need to press it down. Now, nothing's going to happen to it. If I start to pull it back up, I haven't put any pressure on it yet. So nothing is going to happen. I can should be able to just peel it back up, but it's really not something that you want to test. Um, different, um, different companies include a different little tool with their rub-ons. Simple Stories is a little popsicle stick. Um, 49 and Market does a little white stick. I call it a lick made stick. Oh, here it is. That's what that reminds me of. Remember the little, the sugary packets that you dip the little candy stick in? Reminds me of a lick made stick. So you just need something that is a little um, blunt object. You could probably use a, um, this somehow gets away from you. You could probably use a, um, uh, like a bone folder or something, or, okay, hang on. I'm gonna pull out a blast from the past here in a minute. I just have to remember where I put it. When I put everything away, I'm looking, hang on. It's gonna take me a bit to get a familiar again with where everything is now in all these drawers. Okay, hang on. One more second. There, oh no, that's not it. Wait, 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 wait. I was looking for the wrong thing. Oh my heavens, well, hang on guys. Just bear with me a second. I knock something over that will spill if I don't write it. Where are those tools? Where are those tools? Oh my heavens. Hang on. If Nick was here, he'd be making fun of me because I said, oh my heavens. He says, nobody says that. And I say, oh yes, they do. I do. Well, I don't know where it went. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. It's here, I just don't know where. It's a rub-on tool from Basic Gray. Doesn't matter. I'm using this little guy. So, um, I wanna take my little tool and I want to hold firmly down on this piece because I don't want it to move around, right? I don't want it to move around. So I am just going to start almost like I'm burnishing, okay? So I am just rubbing that tool in order for that word or design to release. Right, but I wanna keep holding on because I don't want that to move around. So now I'll move, let me just, I'll just rotate this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Back over here, rubbing that so it releases from the little transfer sheet onto my page. All right, so I think that's good, but guess what? I don't wanna just peel the whole thing off right now. If I peel the whole thing off, it's possible that part of that did not get transferred. So I'm just gonna take my little tweezers and I could use my fingers for this also if I wanted. I am gently going to start peeling that transfer sheet away. And it looks like it's good. Now, if I was peeling away and there was a big part of the V that um, was still on the transfer sheet, I would just lay it back down again and then go over the top of that area. Now we're good. Okay, so there we go, there's my believe. That's a rub-on, super easy to use. Uh, we're Simple Stories and 49 and Market um, have been doing those lately. I don't know if there's other manufacturers, um, but I'm sure there's other ones. Uh, a round tip stylist, there we go. Terry said a round tip stylist works for that as well. Uh, Lauren, I like that, we could totally do that. Lauren said, I want to make a list twice a year, my favorite supplies right now. Let's just let me get out my little handy dandy workbook here and let's write that down. To our 
let's see, our master list of lists, um, favorite crafting supplies. I know we've done one of those in the past, but it's been a long time. Um, and that was uh, Lauren and the on. I like to, um, when we do a list, have reference to that so we can say, hey, this idea for this list topic came from Lauren and the Yarn. Alrighty, so now what I need to do, I think over here, well, I need to do my outlining first. And I need to, I need to use a combination of two pens. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit off here, that's all right. I have pulled out my, um, <coughs> excuse me, my Zig photo signature marker. Um, if you are writing on photos, okay, so here I just wrote on the top of that photo because that would be part of my outline that would be continued. I need to use a special pen. If you've ever tried to write on a photo, it does not work well at all, even with a Sharpie. It doesn't work well at all. Um, the Zig Photo Signature Pen is what I always use if I'm writing on a photo. Um, an example of that, where you probably, when you're like writing on a photo, what do you mean besides what I just did? Um, here is an example um, where I used that kind of white space, right? Not really white, but white space, part of the sidewalk on that photo. Um, I use that as a place where I could do a little bit of writing. So I use that Zig photo signature marker in there. If you want to write on a photo, it's important that you have the right pen or it won't work. Um, also, I mentioned when I released the idea book that um, what I use to sign them, when you guys ask for them to be signed or autographed, I use that photo signature marker. So if you are using that idea book to make notes or something like that in, um, the photo signature pen works really well on that um, surface. It's a little bit of a shinier surface. Okay, there we go. All right, so now it's just kind of boring over here. So I think we need to pull in, I thought this might be kind of fun to pull in, a little bit of just this background. I think I'm going to pull in the pink. Um, well, actually, I could pull in the orange because you kind of have a little, that's kind of background MC Hammer and his parachute pants, a little bit of orange. <laughs> Andre Augusty is looking a little orange. Uh, and then there's some orange here too. So let me grab my stapler because I need to staple this first. We always have to do that. Staple first so that it does not come separated from its sheet. And then, well, I think we'll end up probably cutting this. Well, we'll just cut it like this. And we'll see if we want orange. Do we like the orange or do we like the pink? I think I need the pink. I think I need the pink to kind of pull in the pink from that other side. So let's um, attach this again, or not attach it, but put it back together. So it's uh, with its little partner, the sheet. And we'll staple that so that doesn't come apart. And I think I need to cut off this little part because everything here is a rub on, everything, including this product information. Like this product information is a rub on. So if I didn't cut that off, in my book, it would say market, 49 Market Spectrum Gardenia Extra 6x8 Rub-Ons by Katie Perti, page five. Don't want that. So remember when you're working with the rub-ons, everything on that sheet is a rub on. I don't want those things to accidentally get on there. So I probably need, let's get the trimmer out here. I need, <laughs> about a little bit less than an inch. So I want to cut this guy a little bit less than an inch. And I'll end up with some pink, but also some other stuff in there too. Some purple, some green. All right, that's still good because it's still stapled together. There's this little piece. 
So if we just go like that, that will work there. Like that, and we'll end it about right there. And I won't save that, I won't do anything with that. Okay, same thing. I'm going to lay this down right there and get my little tool. You know what would be another fun one, totally different. Instead of trends, maybe it's words that you hope never come back in style. Like gag me with a spoon, right? Remember that? That one for me, that was, you know, when I was in high school, the whole valley girl phase. No, I did not live in the valley uh, of anywhere. I lived in Park City. Uh, that's a little ski town east of Salt Lake. Um, but gag me with a spoon was a big one. So you could have words and phrases and all kinds of things like that. If it was Nick's list, he'd probably say, oh my goodness. It would probably say, oh my goodness would be on his list. Because <laughs> he says, when I say that, I sound like Jim Cleaver. All right, so let's pull this off. Again, I'm holding on down here to make sure if anything did not come off, then I could lay it back down and use it. But there we go, looking pretty good. All right, so now for my list. Trends that I hope never, well actually we're not quite there yet because now this is going to go down. So look at, now I know, and I'm glad I didn't use it yet because now look at, I have green over here and green over here. I probably want to add a little bit of green here, right? so that I have that visual triangle with the green and the green and the green. Um, and I don't need the red because I really don't have any red in there. So glad I waited, even though I wanted to do it, I did not. So let's just mark where we want that cut. And now what's fun about this um, little viewfinder, I'm only using half of it, right? I am only using half of it, so I can use the other half. I'm not even using half. Um, I don't think I wanted to do that there. No, maybe I did. I did. I was trying to stay away from that circle. So there we go. Um, there are other viewfinders in the, um, in the die cut pack that I'm using that and that both come from the die cut pack from Spectrum Gardenia. There is a super, um, a super, um, kind of neutral, right? So that's white with some pink, uh, paint splats on the back, but all those little guys are open. So that's kind of a fun, different one you could use. Um, what trends is the picture next to Farrah Fawcett? Neon, neon colors. Neon colors, that was in high school. That was another big one uh, for me. The neon, and really I talk about not being able to wear yellow. Uh, try wearing like the neon fluorescent yellow. That really doesn't work. Um, for me, it didn't, but I wore it anyway because you know, when you're that age, you don't really care what looks good on you. You just, if it's a trend, you're doing it. Okay, trends I hope never come back in style. Now we're ready for our list. Uh, the trends on my list, you've seen quite a few of them. Um, I'm just thinking about how I am going to do this. I think this needs to be a run on because I have one, um, I think it's going to be a run on. So let's see. Uh, I need an, oh, this will be fun. I know what I'm going to do. It's gonna take a little bit more work, but I think this will be a lot of fun. Um, I am going to use the, the ink and I need, look at me like thinking. I'm totally turned around from you guys because now everything's behind me. Um, bullets and more. And I think I am going to go with this OG set, the OG Bullets and More set um, with just the plain old, well, I could do the plain old circle or I could do a square. 
Circle, circle makes the square. What was that? Circle makes the um, uh, Hollywood squares. But the guy used to always say something. Um, which one do I want to do? I think the square or the circle. We'll do circle. We'll do circle. Star. No, let's do square. We don't ever use the square. I'm going to use the square. So this is from the Bullets um, and More. The original, the OG. Bullets and More stamp set. Uh, so my little tiny bullet, I'm pulling out the stylus. And with the stylus, there's a little trick that Martine taught us. Um, she posted about this in the Facebook group because one day, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. I gotta grab some colors here. Um, I'm going to, I don't need that. I am going to pull. I think squeeze lemonade. I'm going to pull a kitsch flamingo. Mowed lawn. I think that's, I think tumbled glass is maybe a little bit too, maybe not bright enough. So let's look in here and see. Um, let's see, where's the blue, where's the blue? Tumbled glass, tumbled glass is probably going to be as close as we are going to get in terms of light blue. Broken china. Yeah, I'm gonna go with tumbled glass. Speckled egg, yep, tumbled glass it is. Okay. carved pumpkin. Let's see. Let us see. So what I'm going to do, you probably figured out, I am going to alternate. Oh, dried marigold maybe would be nice. How about dried marigold? Uh, here we go. All right, so I think that is our plan. That is the plan. So I will do Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So those will be my little bullets to separate the little things on my list. And I will use my square. I'm gonna use the circle. I'm gonna use my circle bullet stamp. Bear with me. Using my circle bullet stamp. And I will alternate colors. Okay. So let's grab, we can just do it on this one. We'll start with the pink. Ooh, almost dropped that. So the stylus, if you haven't seen the stylus before, I just put my little um, bullet stamp on there and ink it up, stamp, ink it up, stamp, ink it up, stamp, makes it really easy with that little tiny stamp. Now. Um, I actually, I'm going to get these guys open and all set up here because I will need, look how pretty that is, right? That is a pretty sight, isn't it? Okay, so starting with the pink. First thing on my list is low rise jeans. Although, I'd wear them if I could. Right? Now, I can wear, we can wear anything we want, right? We can wear anything we want. But trust me, you don't want to see that on me. Uh, okay, I need to change, or change. I need to clean the color in between. Um, last week, I showed you after um, a couple of you mentioned it. Whoopsie. After a couple of you mentioned it. The little salt cellar. That's a little salt cellar. It's linked in the description box of the video. I don't sell them, but they're on Amazon. Uh, it stores my little um, chamois to clean with. Now, um, very important public service announcement. And I knew this, and I told myself not to forget this. And wouldn't you know what? I forgot it anyway. 
Uh, you do not want to leave your wet stamp chamois in that with the lid closed, because guess what happens? This is like the wash machine in your house. And if you leave the wet clothes in the closed wash machine, what happens? Doesn't smell very good when you go to get the clothes out, right? Same thing. So all I did was just wash it with a little bit of soap, that chamois, and then it was fine. Now I don't, well, I should clean it in between. I'm just over here doing this, like getting the ink off. Let's see what happens if I move to the yellow now. Because I really didn't clean it. Let's see if that's enough yellow. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's okay. All right, so next up um, on my list, Farrah Fawcett hair. Farrah Fawcett hair. Um, what were those things called? Waves, curls, what were they? Um, feathered, feathered, with the feathered curls, yes. Now, again, if you missed me at the beginning, friends, if you missed me at the beginning, I said, uh, you may be rocking all of these things. Like right now, you may have your Farrah Fawcett feathered hair, and you've got the tease bangs, you're wearing your MC Hammer pants, you're living in northern Canada, it's really cold, so you've got your moon boots on, and your coat has shoulder pads, and oh, by the way, um, maybe your boyfriend has um, a big mullet, and you have your low-rise jeans, and your shirt is neon. There's nothing against you if you do any or all those things. These are just, for me, trends that I hope don't come back in style for me. So, no offense intended. All right, green. Next up, um, teased bangs. I, well, I thought I rocked the teased bangs. Um, teased bangs. Sprayed with Aquanet. Whoops, forgot the A, Aquanet hairspray. That is not me. That could just as e have easily been me. Um, in Utah, the term for this was a claw. So it literally looked like you had a claw coming out of your forehead because you would take your little rat comb and you would tease your bangs. Your bangs were really long. They'd probably cover your eyes, but you'd tease them and then spray them with Aquanet so they would not move. Um, yes, so um, teased bangs sprayed with Aquanet hairspray. Um, all right, I'm missing lots in the chat. Hi, Belinda. Belinda, um, Belinda, did you know you won a prize? You won a prize. Uh, check your email or check the, um, the comments from last week. Um, the flying nun hair flips. <laughs> that was funny. Stacy was the queen of hot rollers. Love it. The bare legs trend. I missed something. Oh, Daisy Dukes, right? Low rise, high rise. Those were the low rise, high rise, right? Yes, Daisy Dukes. Again, okay, again, let's be honest. If I could, well, probably not at my age, but if I could, well, even not, probably not at my age, but if I could carry off a Daisy Dukes, I always said, if I looked like amazing in a bikini, I'd wear it everywhere. I'd go to the grocery store and I'd have my bikini on because I looked so good, I'd just wear the bikini. Um, Wanda, anything goes these days. If we don't like, have to like, we don't, if we don't have to like it, we just avoid it, so true. Um, Lauren, did you have the sticky bathroom door from the hairspray? The door, the, um, the tile, the faucet, everything, right? Everything was just coated in Aquanet. Everything coated. Oh, I know, pantyhose, yes, pantyhose, pantyhose, yes. Um, yeah, was not a fan of those. I mean, one, you know, they had a purpose, but I, for some people still wear them, absolutely. Tube tops, leg warmers, right? Oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. Um, okay, let's see, what was next? Oh, neon, neon clothing. Back then, the brighter the better. 
Now, what's so funny about that, like, you know, sometimes people have 80s parties now or something like that. You can go online, you can go to Amazon, well, you can find anything on Amazon, but you can go online and find like your whole, because I bet you, I don't know where I got that photo, I just Googled it, but that's, I'm sure that's not from the 80s. That's probably from now, and it's probably Amazon or some other online seller selling all those fluorescent clothes. Um, okay. So now we're back to our pink again. Okay, you guys, so um, some of you are chiming in in the chat. Um, what else? What other things do you hope that um, never come back? <laughs> Paige said jelly shoes. Yep, jelly shoes are on my list. They did not make the cut when it came to a photo, but jelly shoes on my list because those were so hot and stinky and sweaty and blah. Um, Wanda said she never had the body for a tube top, so I'm so glad all these things are gone. Yeah, Nick this morning said baggy clothes. And I'm like, you mean like baggy pants when the guys wear the baggy pants that would go below their underwear? He goes, no, just baggy clothes in general. I'm like, well, I kind of like baggy clothes sometimes because they, they, they cover things. Sometimes baggy clothes are a good thing, right? They just cover things that you don't necessarily want to be seen. Um, Sarah still has a really big sweater with the patches. Oh, I love it. Love it. Yeah. Oh, stirrup pants. Yes. Perms, Kathy, perms, right? Although perms, the, the like high school age boys, or maybe a little bit older than high school, that seems to be a thing now. Perms for boys. Um, all right, where are we? Um, oh, mullets. Mullet. Mullets. Um, mullets were a um, business. What do they call it? Business. Up front, party in the back. Now, I also think that mullets are back in style. When we were um, in Denver for the uh, George Stapleton, no, George Strait, Chris Stapleton Little Big Town concert, I took a picture of this young man with his mullet because his mullet was like incredible. And Sam, our younger son, is always kind of talking about mullets and he's like, maybe I should grow a mullet. I'm like, no. So I sent him this picture of this guy, and I wasn't making fun of him, but I sent him the, Sam this picture of this guy, and I said goals, because it was quite the special mullet, because it was short on top, but then it was permed. The bottom part was permed. Anyhow, that's Andre Agassi, um, a very famous, um, very good tennis player. Back in the day, that would, now look, now not only his like mullet, but look at, like it's like dyed, Blonde on top, yeah, his poor hair was fried. So if you don't know what a mullet is, that's what it is. Short on top and then long in the back. And they would say business up front, party in the back. That's what the, you know, little slang for it, I guess was. A mullet. All right. So next up we have on my list, moon boots. Moon boots. And this is a funny little, um, Lainey and I, Lainey's my little sister, would ditch them walking in the snow to school. So my mom made us wear them because we'd walk to school and you couldn't, you know, walk in your regular little flats. Uh, but we'd get far enough away from home and we'd like ditch them behind a tree or something. And then, you know, our feet would be soaked going to school and then they'd be all smelly because then they're, you know, whatever. Um, but those are moon boots. Now, moon boots have also kind of come back around, but moon boots don't look like that anymore. They were not very attractive, but they worked, right? They were, they kept your feet dry as long as you would wear them. Um, okay, so moon boots, jelly shoes. Oh, yeah, we were talking about those. Somebody mentioned jelly shoes. Jelly shoes. Yuck. Plastic equals stinky feet. Yucky, yucky. Oh, but back then I sure thought they were cool, huh? We sure thought they were fun. Um, parachute pants. Parachute pants, like MC Hammer pants, right? Those were the, were like the crotch part literally went down to your knees. So it was, it was very odd, very odd. You wonder where some fashions come from, right? Uh, so parachute pants. K 
Okay, and then the last one on my list is shoulder pads, right? The shoulder pads and shoulder pads instantly. Uh, when I think shoulder pads, I think of um, the show Dynasty. And then what was the one? That, no, Dynasty. Yep, Dynasty. Um, what was her name? When I Googled shoulder pads, she was all over. Joan, no, not Joan. What's her name? Linda, Linda something right, that was in Dynasty. Was she in um, Dallas too? Somebody help me. Um, somebody help me with her name. Joan. Linda? I can't remember. <laughs> Sue? Uh, Sally? No. Linda Evans. No, Joan Collins. Oh, okay. Diane. Linda Evans was the blonde that was in the same show, but yes, the shoulder pads were like crazy huge. Uh, so fun. Tracy, she was Audra in the Big Valley. I did not know that. Tracy, did you know that I am named after an actress in the Big Valley? Yeah, the Big Valley. Uh, Joan Collins, yes, so funny. Okay, and then, so then we have shoulder pads. Back then, the bigger the better. There we go. Okay. There is my trends. I hope never come back in style. We used a nice rainbow assortment of inks for our little bullets. And I will put these away later. I'll just set them off to the side so I don't organize them. Uh, but they will get organized again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And my little swatch this, my little swatches will go back. They now hang. Okay. So the last thing I need to do is I just need to date this. So I think I will do that right along here. So this would be July. We'll just say July 2023. We don't need to put the real date. All right, here we go, guys. There we go. There is our trends. I hope never come back in style list. Um, if you don't have photos, if you're not printing, you don't even need that whole sheet, right? Just there you go. Trends, I hope, never come back in style. Alrighty, let's get uh, all of this product put away and we'll talk about our next list as we're doing that. Um, our next list is, what is it? Oh, our next list is a two-parter. Um, we are going to do half of it this week and then when we're together again in two weeks or three weeks when we're again, when we're... When we're together again on the um, 12th of August, that's the next time we'll be, ooh, oh, okay, hang on. I need to put this guy away. If I don't put this, that little guy, your little bullet stamps, you need to put away right away. Um, because if not, um, they're so tiny. Oh no! Alrighty, so, um, I just, my little, my little bullet stamp, just, it's like the, um, the song um, on top of old smoky, on top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball, I lost my poor stamp. Okay, it's on the floor somewhere. Uh, hopefully I'll remember to find that later because who knows where it is, it's just blending in. Anyhow, like I was saying, you want to put those little stamps away right away or else they will get lost. Let's hope we find that. Otherwise, I'll have eight sets of those that I have out that I'm using. Okay, um, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by the lost stamp, um, our next list is a two-parter. So part of the list we will do this week, one list. The second list that kind of coordinates, goes along with it, we will do in two weeks. And that topic for today is... Um, Things, I still haven't quite figured out how to word this, but I'm, because I know hate's a strong word, but I think that's what I'm going to use. Things I used to hate that now I love. Things I used to hate, but now I love. So that is this week. Next week, or when we're together again, will be things I still hate, okay? Uh, or dislike. If, if, if hate is too strong of a word for you, you could say like and dislike. So things that um, I used to dislike or not like, but now I love. I'm going to do things I used to hate, but now I love. All right, so let's get all those things put away. 
and we'll move on to that. So even though today's only a one page, I need to make sure I have room for two pages, so we're good there. All right. And for this list, mm -hmm, oh, those will just stay there. For this list, I am using a couple of things from the Sunkissed collection, the Pretty Little Studio Sunkissed collection. Um, speaking of Pretty Little Studio, I heard from Melissa yesterday. Um, my order, um, she has a new uh, summer collection that is uh, shipping. It will ship to me on Tuesday. So I will have um, the following week, but it's a really fun, fun, fun summer collection. So this is the last I will be using of, oh, Tammy, you know what? It, honestly, it could take me a while because it is a, um, it's like a distressed wood floor. So I'll have to like get down on my hands and knees uh, to find it. So um, I'll do that later. <laughs> or I'll wait till Nick comes home and say, honey, we find, no, I'll find it, but it'll take me a bit to find it. Thank you though. Um, <laughs> Shauna, Shanna said, just joined the live. That picture of Andre Agassi is priceless. I know, isn't that funny? I know, too funny. Um, all right, so this is the last I'm going to be using of the Sunkissed collection from Pretty Little Studio. That's leading me into the first prize. Uh, the first prize for today is this giant stack of products from Sunkissed Collection. Some of it I have opened, like this one. I've used a sheet or two of paper. There are other parts in here that I have not opened or used. This is just all of my samples that I have to work with, right? That I pull from inventory to work with. So there's a lot of stuff here. Really, 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 really good stuff. Um, so that will be our first prize for today. The way that you participate in the prizes, you leave a comment on the video when it's over. So just make sure to make a little note for yourself to come back before we're together in on the before we're together again on August 12th um, and leave a comment. I think the easiest thing is just when we're done, leave a comment. Oopsie. And I will draw. Um, that's one of two prizes, okay? There'll be another one, there'll be another fun prize. Okay, so two page list, but it is starting out on the left page. I just got a little bit of water on my hands from when I was drinking. So what I'm using for this one, I'm using a few products. So I'm using the Love Blooms die cuts. Uh, let me grab a little tray here. It'll be easier if I just have a little tray to spread those out on. The Love Blooms die cuts. There are also Love Blooms stickers, but I'm using the die cuts. So all the things that I'm using um, on this list and the last list as well, well, all the lists I'm using today, linked in the description box of the video under what I'm using. Okay, so lots of fun little hearts there. I love just all those different patterns. Boy, today's all about color, isn't it? It is all about lots of fun color. Uh, all right, so I'm using those. I pulled out the um, Sunkissed Label stickers. And then I also pulled out some of the little square alphas. So that's my plan. And then for my title, I am using that. The List Builder I Heart This stamp set. So my List Builder Lail by Mail stamp set. Um, so this one again is, let me just look. Um, things I hated I think that's what I'm trying to narrow it down in my head. I think if I say or try to make the title not so long. Things I hated and now love. So let's do that. Things I hated and now love. Things I used to dislike. Things I hated and now love. Things I hated and now love. Okay. So I will be using one of those two loves. No pattern paper. And I am going to do my stamping directly on the page. So before I start thinking about stamping, well, I guess as I'm thinking about stamping, there's something that I need to double check. You always need to double check this when you are stamping, especially when you're stamping on the left facing page, left facing, 
in your Traveler's Notebook insert. If I'm stamping directly on this page, I need to see what happened before it. I need to turn back and see what happened here. In this case, <gasps> look it, I found it. It was stuck to Farrah Fawcett's hair. Oh, I'm so thankful for Farrah Fawcett's hair. Who knew? Who knew we'd love Farrah Fawcett's hair? It was stuck to the photo on Farrah Fawcett's hair. Oops, wrong one. So here we go. Let's get that put away. Give me a minute while I, now what did I do with those? Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get that put away. That's so funny. Lots of things can get lost in Farrah Fawcett's hair, right? Yes, lots of things, including a circle bullet stamp. That's hilarious. You see how excited I was? That was like little kid at Christmas. There it is. All right, there we go. Okay, crisis averted. Good thing I didn't stop and look on the floor. I would have been looking for a long time, probably, in, well, until forever, because I never would find it. Okay, so what I was saying before we found it, my stamp in Farrah Fawcett's hair, um, if you're stamping on a left-facing page directly on the page, you always want, used to hate it, now love it. That works too. Yeah, there we go, Marilee. Used to hate it, now love it. Marilee, you're a teacher, right? Do I have that right? Used to hate and now love. How about that? We can even used to hate or hate it and now love. Used to hate and now love. Hate it and now love. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, but I think teacher, right? Leave it to a teacher to help us get that, you know, um, narrowed down to be very succinct in our words. Um, stamping, yes, stamping. Stamping on a left-facing page. You always want to turn to see what happened here. Here I am okay because I put a photo on top of the page. So when I stamp here, I will not affect what happened here. Um, when I did this last week, when I stamped news, I knew here that I had to put something down. I could not start writing on that page because there was a lot of shadowing or ghosting, shadowing and ghosting from that. So you always wanna check first to see if I had written something directly on the page of my insert here, I would not stamp here because that stamp would shadow or ghost on the back side, and it would kind of ruin what I had done here. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, for the inserts that I use. You'd still see it shadowing or ghosting, but if you're using really thin paper, it could ruin what you were doing. All right, so I think I will use, I think I'm gonna use just this one, uh, cause I'll be using hearts in a lot of places, so I don't need to reiterate the heart there. Now in this stamp set, the list builder I heart this, um, you have two different loves. In one case, you have the heart as the O. You have I heart this, things I, so you could say things I love, you have about, you have a couple of other different little love words. What I love, what I love about, things I love about, love, you, us, today, and all those fun little hearts. So it's a fun stamp set for listing about things that you love. Or in this case, didn't used to love, but um, now love. Or you could say, don't love. You could have love and then you could put your little X through it. I don't know, maybe we'll play with that for next week. We'll see how we do the hate or don't love or whatever it is. Um, all right, I need a stamp block. There we go. And I'm using my black. Okay. Um, I need to get out my little testing notebook. Testing notebook is almost full. Ijioma, oh my goodness, how are you? It has been forever and a day. How are you? Um, I know I always get this wrong. I want to say Nairobi, am I right? If not, please correct me. But it has been a long time. Nice to see you. I'm glad you popped in and said hello. All right. Um, I am inking that up really well. Good evening. Yes, evening there for you, isn't it? Nigeria. Sam is close. Well, okay. No, I'm not close. Geographically, no. Uh, they both started with an N. <laughs> no, that's horrible. I, one of these days I'll remember Ni Nigeria because I think I always say Nairobi, I think. All right. 
Uh, I'm just testing, right? Always, always, always test stamp first. Always, always, always. You always want to test stamp first because you want to make sure that it's straight. You want to make sure there's no little hair or lint in your stamp that's going to affect your affect your stamped impression. You want to make sure that you get a good feel for the pressure. Um, in the most most cases, you don't want to press really hard. If you press really hard, it's going to um, flatten all those nice little um, in de detailed lines, and then you'll get kind of in your stamp spread out a little bit, which probably not something that you're going for. So test first, always, always, always. But that works, I like it, looks good. So we will come here. I need a tool. I need a pencil board. Pencil board. Pencil board is a fancy name for a piece of something that you put underneath something to create a flat surface for you to write or stamp on. Pencil board. This is a pencil board that Nancy Gullison made me years ago, uh, a chipboard that she covered with pattern paper. So you can make them. Uh, you can also buy them from me. So I have my own pencil boards. Uh, this is a 1 8 inch thick piece of clear acrylic that has been etched. Corners are rounded so that when you put it under your page, it doesn't poke a hole in your page. Um, they come clear, so clear and the etched is just white. Um, I paint them, I paint mine, my personal ones, with um, acrylic paint, just a little dab of acrylic paint, finger paint, wipe off with a dry paper towel. Um, when you do that, the dry paper towel removes the paint from the surface, but it leaves the paint in all the little etched areas. So this is a pencil board. Um, it has etched marks on it, grid, so if you wanted, you could also use it as a stamping block, right? I mean, you couldn't use it the same time as a stamping block, but for your larger stamps, you could use a stamping block. So you have the little grids to line it up. So I wanna take my pencil board, lay it underneath my page so I have a flat surface to stamp on. Um, that really comes into play when you're working with a traveler's notebook or something that you cannot, um, that you cannot take the page out of, right? You can't take the page out of this to stamp on, so I need to create a flat surface that I can stamp on. So before I stamp, I need to I need to leave a little bit of space because um, I am. <laughs> it's so funny. I have scribbled out that title so many times. Um, I need to write above the type, write above love, right? I need to write above the love. So let's ink this guy up again. Get it all nice and inked up. Um, the black ink that I'm using is a VersaFine Claire um, from Sukaniko. It is a um, pigment ink. That is the black that I use. Any black stamping, that is what I use. That is the one I prefer. It's awesome. All right, so let's think about where we want to go here. I think about right here. Okay, nice even pressure. I don't want to rock it. If I rock it, it's going to flatten the stamped image up top and below. Um, I don't want to press too hard. There we go. Nice and crisp and clean. Uh, I'm going to clean that off very quickly. Oh, um, the whole purpose of this little salt cellar, friends, because I forgot to uh, close the lid. The whole purpose of the salt cellar is that you close it up and then um, your little uh, stamp chamois that I just used to clean my stamp stays wet, right? You want it to stay wet so you can clean, but you need to remember to open the little lid before you put it away or else it gets smelly. Nobody wants a smelly stamp chamois, trust me. Just like nobody wants smelly towels because you left them in the dryer for two days. I mean washer, in the dryer is fine, not the washer. Um, where did my... Um, Sharpie call. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. My list I am doing directly on the page. So no pattern paper, background, no white cardstock.
I will be using hearts. Mm, that guy may be a little bit too big. Uh, maybe the small and medium hearts instead of the large hearts. Hearts just periodically, randomly placed throughout here. And I know we probably need, ooh, we need something to go somewhere in there. Let's see what color we decide we want there. Um, I'm going to color the love in, uh, but I need to wait a minute. I need to make sure that it is um, dry. Pigment-based inks take a second to dry. So I do not want to get, I'm going to color it in with colored pencils. I don't want to come in right away with uh, my colored pencils and color because the ink is still wet, not now, but um, I pull in the black into that color, which I don't want to do, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to pull the black into the color. I'm thinking I could do, no, we just need to stay with the, this little medium size so that I had the yellow over here. So, hmm, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to put that right there for a minute to hold that page down. Uh, I need a clip. I need a clip. Oh, interesting. Now that I have everything in here, when I open one of my drawers, it runs into the plug. All right, I am just going to bring this clip in right here so that it will help hold that close. It'll make it a lot easier for me to work with, with that clip there, right? There we go, okay. So now I had an idea for some washi maybe along the bottom, let's see. Um, sorry, across the room again. Maybe, I mean, it'd be a lot of hearts, but this is one of my washi. Yeah, I think that's too much. Too many hearts, too many hearts. But, well, we have washi, maybe this one. Nah. Let's try one more thing. This chunky stripe. That could work. So let's try this. If we do that along the bottom, and then I need a little bit of, I need some black now. Um, I do not have any black washi out, so you gotta bear with me a second, friends, okay? Because I'm going to need to find it. Um, I have the washi put away, my washi stash put away, but it is not organized. So look it. Um, and I will tell you, my washi stash was literally like 100 times bigger than this. I really narrowed down. A lot narrowed down. Um, so I'm looking for, let me see if I can find it in here. I'm looking for either a thin black or a black. I wonder if I would have saved that. Probably not. Okay. I am going to cut a black down. And it will just be this guy. Um, eventually, I will get this all organized, maybe this afternoon, in Roy G. Bib color. So then it's really easy. If I'm looking for black, then all the black will be together and I go find it. So one of these three blacks will work. Let's try those. Thank you, Colleen, said reminder to like the video, friends. Yes, if you would, I'd love that. That'd be so awesome. I'd be your best friend. No, I don't know if you like it or not. I can only see, I can only see how many thumbs up there are and how many thumbs down there are. Because there are. 
I don't know. I never understand that. I don't know why you'd take your time to watch something and give it a thumbs down. I mean, unless somebody was being, you know, really belligerent or, you know, I don't know, causing problems, then you could, oh, this could be fun. This is an oldie but goodie. This was a real, an older Simple Stories one. Or no, maybe this was, no, I don't remember which one it was from. Anyhow, we could do that. Or we could take one of these two. Actually, I think I'm going to take one of those two. So uh, those are too wide, right? Those are too wide. I wanted something that was more narrow like that. So what I'm going to do is pull out my trimmer and I'm not sure which one I will like. So let's see. Ooh, we'll see. This guy. I don't know, I've had it for a long time. Let's, oh no, it's coming. Okay, there we go. It was just a little bit crispy. The ends were a little bit crispy. All right, so two wide. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, that's plenty, uh, line this up on my trimmer. So um, part of it is, this is where the little blade goes. So part of it, the wash will be on the left side of the blade, part of it will be on the right side of the blade. And I'm just using that little line, the, I don't know, eighth inch line, or I guess it's quarter inch line, I'm using the quarter inch line to make sure that's straight. And I cut that. Now I have two different widths of the squiggle washi. There's one width, single squiggle. And then here's another width, double squiggle. So super easy to make the height or width washi that you need by just using your trimmer. So let's see, do I want a single width or a double width? I think we could go with the double width. I think that works. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know if it would, maybe. I guess I could see if that, leave that there and use that another time, although I'm not gonna do that. Let's be honest, there's so much of that washi that I will probably never use at all, so we'll just, if I need to cut it again later, I'll cut it again later for something else. All right, so we've got lots of different colors going on here. Um, we'll work with those as we start playing. Um, this one's kind of fun. Maybe that should go up there. No, that's too big. If one is going to go up there, I need one of these little guys. So there's like three different sizes of these little hearts, right? Three different sizes. This is a little teeny guy. That could maybe go there. Yeah. All right, so now I need to color in those little cute letters. So I'm pulling out uh, colored pencils. <laughs> um, oh, this drawer behind me is like the drawer of happiness. Wait till you see. Um, all right, I'm pulling out these guys. Uh, there are a couple of different pencil sets I have on the website. This is one of them. This is a, oh an errant puffy sticker there. Um, 48 set, these are watercolor pencils. Uh, I am going to use them to color in those little individual letters. So what do we want to use? What, 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 what? Um, I have not swatched these yet. When I say I haven't swatched these, this is what I mean. I love it, it's just exactly where I knew it would be. Um, I've swatched lots of my colored pencils. I haven't swatched this set yet. This set is newer. So um, normally what I would do is I would come to my pages that had this brand on them, and then I would be looking at the colors, and I'd go, oh, um, I think I want this, this, and this, because they would be swatched. I could see what the color looked like, but I don't have that done yet. So we will... Maybe we should just keep it one solid color. That might be better so it's not like so crazy. Let me look at this one. I think this is too red. Oh, it's kind of a corally color. Um, but I probably don't want to use red because that's like love doesn't have to be red, right? Love does not have to be red. How about this guy? Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Uh, that one is called sea foam. Oh, that is um, definitely, I would call that sea foam. That is very representative of that color. So now I'm just coming in and coloring in those little letters. 
Um, you can use colored pencils, you can use markers, you can use whatever you have. Um, that is the idea behind all of these outline stamps. So um, I Heart This is one. Um, they were all in the same release. Um, Christine Numbers Medium, Christine Numbers Small. Just so you know, there's a Christine Numbers Large um, that is coming in, I believe in August. They're actually already done. We did them at the same time that we did the other two Christine Numbers. But I held on to them for a while because I thought they'd be fun to use for like your December documented, December daily type projects because they're big numbers. Anyhow, um, all of these kind of outline stamp sets that were part of the March release uh, were hand drawn by my friend Christine of Pop Daisy Art. So we did a collaboration together. Um, she hand drew them. The whole idea was to then be able to come back in and um, and color them in, because that's kind of what her little style. We'll see if that guy still goes there. I think it will still be cute there. Um, let me look at really quickly. Um, Dandy said I need washi organization suggestions. Um, for me, it'll be by color, because that's how I think about things. Um, I know some people would do it by, um, I, some people would do it by, um, wait, what did I call this? I heart this, heart eyes. Oh, I know what you mean, Deborah. I understand now that washi, the, um, that, this one, this one, heart eyes, simple stories, I heart, um, heart eyes. I think you're right. Absolutely. Um, it reminds me of a Reset Girl one a really long time ago when Reset Girl and Simple Stories did a collaboration, but I think you're right. I think that's hard eyes. Look at you. You know you're watching. That's awesome. Uh, Danny, some people do them by collection or manufacturer. So you'd have all your Simple Stories together. And then within Simple Stories, you'd have all your hard eyes together. It just kind of depends on when you are working, uh, what are you looking for? Are you working with a particular collection? So you're we're looking for the washi that goes with that collection? Or are you looking for pattern? Would you put all your stripes together, all your flowers together? Or are you looking by color? I think that's probably um, pattern, collection, collection slash brand, color. Um, that's how I would think about things. Um, looks like I'm holding a little tire. That's funny. Hi, Louisa. Nice to see you. What size notebook did you use for the swatches? Uh, Carla, that is a uh, standard wide. That is just another um, regular standard wide insert. So five by 8.25. Um, Janelle said, hi, Lael. Thanks for my order. You delivered so quickly watching now. You are welcome. I try, you guys. I really, really, really try. Really, really, really try to get your orders out um, very quickly just because um, I am a shopper too and I know that I want my things quickly, so I would probably want to get, you know, if I was like you, I'd want my stuff. I want my stuff now. Sometimes Nick has to remind me that I'm not Amazon and that really I can't get things out the next day. Every once in a while I do, but um, yeah, he's like, listen, you're not Amazon. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to bed. You're not Amazon. All right, although some people think you are. It's just me. It's me and Lily. Um, Molly does a lot of kidding and anyhow. Okay. So, um, what did we land on for our title? Um, used to hate, now I love. Used to hate, now I love. I think that's what it's going to be. Used to hate, now I love. Used to hate, now I love. Okay, used to hate, now I love. I think I'm going to be okay now putting those little things in here, although this little guy's got to move over a little bit. Um, I would love to use the, um, I'd really like to use the bigger ones just to give it kind of a different scale, but it's just not going to work. The bigger ones are too big, so um, I'm going with the littles. I will clip that um, back on in a second once I get this little guy placed. Come on, there we go. Now we'll clip again and just make life so much easier. Okay, get the rest of these guys done. Um, Deborah, Deborah, that is not a problem. 
That is not a problem. Deborah said, that's a pro real problem that I can identify washi by sight. Uh, Deborah, um, I, no, I don't think so at all. And I, 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 well, sometimes I can, it just depends, right? Sometimes if it's been too long, it's just, and there's too many. Um, I think with that one, Simple Stories has done, I think kind of three different variations from that. I want to say there was one in um, Crafty Girl too that kind of looked like that. So I was like, well, I don't know where that's from. Okay, this one I do not want to be like in the center. That would be too weird. Don't want it to be centered. So I'm trying to make these random looking, right? Have you ever tried to make something look random? It's very difficult to make something look random. Very difficult. All righty. Um, I guess that'll go there. So I don't want any of them to line up vertically or horizontally. And then I also want them going different directions, right? So that they're not all tilted one way or the other. Last weekend I was talking about 18, I can never remember that, Eight, 1868, is it 1868? The, um, the, uh, the um, sorry, Yellowstone prequel that we had just finished watching. Well, now since then, we've also now finished watching 1928. Because generally what happens in our house is that Nick and I will around 9 30 or 10 be like let's watch a show to you know kind of unwind and then you know you get really into it and next thing you know it's midnight and you're like oh boy so yes now we finished that too but i did research that there is another one um there is another one there's a there's a sequel a part two planned for that apparently all right here we go used to hate now i love um, what would be on 1893 thank you kylie i can never remember the last two the last two years, I can never remember that. Um, if you are listening with me, I would love to know uh, what would be on your list. Even if you're not listing, okay? Even if you're not listing, what would be on your list? Things that you used to hate but now love or used to dislike but now you like. Um, I'll say, uh, Farrah, no, Farrah Fawcett hair, because I used to dislike it, but then my stamp was in her hair, so now, no, that, no, just kidding, that's not on my list. Um, the things that are on my list, things I used to hate, but now I love. You guys, this one, super simple list, right? I didn't pull out a lot of product. I pulled out a few die cuts, some spare washi that I had in my stash, and a stamp. So not all of your lists, your lists don't have to have anything on them other than writing, right? You need to, I always say, if you're making a list, you need two things, something to write with and something to write on. That's it. That's all you need. So don't get all caught up in the, oh my gosh, I need this. I don't have that. I need paper and I need die cuts and I need washi and I need stickers. I need all the things. It can be so, so simple. Um, the whole point though is to just do it, right? Because you're telling a story here, right? Things you used to hate and now you love. Um, there are some things, it's funny, when Nick and I last night were just chatting about the lists, um, and I'm like, what's something you used to hate and now you like? And he's like, he could have, he had no idea. He's like, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so actually there was one he came up with. Um, but it's just a story that you're telling about yourself that a lot of people probably don't know, right? So a little time castle. Um, people want tomatoes. People watching. Sarah, you used to hate people watching. Dijon mustard. Belinda, coconut naps, living alone. Because I love all of these. I love, I love, I love all of these. Um, Wanda, not sure I love anything that I used to hate. I'll have to think about it. Cottage cheese, Ms. L says cottage cheese. Um, get crafty with Lori. Lori Scott said mine is low heeled shoes and now I love them. Is Yoma pink color? Yes, look at all these things. Um, I, but I have to read Terry's. I love Terry's comment, to, to, whole other segment. Uh, I have a confession. When Washi first came out, I was working at Archivers and just didn't get it. Now, don't even ask how many rolls I have. I know, right? Uh, poetry and planning, Brussels sprouts. Yep, that is one on my list. When I was a little kid, absolutely detested Brussels sprouts. Detested Brussels sprouts. And now I love them. They're awesome. Um, Scrapbook Sister said, I didn't like fish or coffee when I was young, but now I love coffee and like fish. There you go. Ms. L, light blue. 
Uh, Irene used to hate flares and wide laying jeans. Now she hearts them. Gracie creates scrapbooking in pink. I love it. You used to hate or dislike. Maybe hate's a little bit of a strong word there. Uh, dislike scrapbooking and now you like it. And spinach. Okay, so here we go. Um, big on my list. So I think here what I'm going to do, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it super easy. I'm not going to pull in any bullet stamps. I am going to use a dot marker. So on my last list, I use the little circle um, bullet stamp. Well, dot marker, this is a black one. I'm keeping it simple. But a dot marker looks like if you've ever played bingo, you know those little bingo daubers that you just, you know, do your little uh, B12. Yes, and then you'd do it. It's like a mini bingo dauber. Uh, little, it's a it's a dot instead of a pointed marker. So with that, depending on how much pressure I apply, I can make big dots or little teeny dots, all different sizes. So I have a number of different um, of those on the website. This one is just black. So I am going to do my little bullets here with that little black uh, dot marker. Um, this one, oh, country music. Country music. I could not stand it. But now it makes me happy. But only new country. I guess I'm not a true country music fan because like old country, like Merle Haggard and things like that. No, I don't like that. Um, but I used to really dislike country music and that's probably because it was old country music. New country I like. Um, all right, next up, Brussels sprouts. Um, Kylie, Kylie, I did. So um, I Googled, I didn't listen, but I Googled. So I know I need to go listen. Um, jelly roll. Last week, Kylie brought up jelly roll and I'm like, jelly roll, like the pen or like the, the pastry or what are you talking about? Jelly roll is a country, um, a male country artist, right? No, now I need to listen. So I didn't read about him. I saw his picture and then I thought, oh, I've got to, I've got to look more. So, uh, but yes, very intrigued, very, very intrigued. Terry used to hate spinach because her mother only served it from a can. I didn't know spinach was a leafy green veggie, not a green glob of green goo. You know what? You guys, so much of, well, Brussels sprouts, right? That's the next thing on my list. Um, Brussels sprouts, right? Brussels sprouts. Because they were always boiled um, within an inch of their life, right? Um, did not like Brussels sprouts, but oh my goodness, now I love them. Like if you get like broiled or roasted Brussels sprouts with like balsamic glaze on them, oh, they're so good. Love, love, love Brussels sprouts. Again, how it's prepared, right? How it's prepared. Uh, I think for a lot of us, especially if you grew up in, well, I grew up in the 70s. Well, obviously, 70s, 80s, whatever. But um, in the 70s, that canned vegetables were a big thing. Canned vegetables or frozen vegetables. So um, there were a lot of people who probably, well, still, lima beans. Th those are on my list for two weeks from now. Uh, always hated, still hate. Lima beans, no, no, no. Uh, the little frozen corn, no, frozen, no, frozen corn's not bad. The little frozen peas and carrots that came in the bag with the lima beans. No way. No way, Jose. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Red wine. Red wine. Um, it's an acquired taste. And now I love it. So, and it's been, um, it's probably more so when I first started drinking wine that I really was not a fan of red wine. Uh, just because it's definitely, I mean, it's different, right? It's different. If you drink wine, you know red wine is different. Um, but I love it now. Um, dresses. 
Uh, wearing dresses. Always seemed too much. Now they're easy to just throw on, right? So easy to just throw a dress on. All right, so, um, oh, oopsie, look what, I, look what I just realized. I didn't put that guy down. I just popped that off for a second because um, it's okay, but I have not, I mean, I've got all this white space there, but that's okay. I realized I was not um, writing to maybe as far as I would normally write. That's all right, let's put that little guy on. What else, friends? Do you like dresses? Do you not wear um, dresses? Um, used to not like them, now I like them. Uh, Terry said, same mistake, my father charred everything. God forbid any me had any pink left. Oh, yeah, we're, in our house, we're like the, the rare to medium rare. That's what we like. Nick likes like blue. Like seriously, like rare, rare, rare. And I'm like, you yeah, know, can't do that. But rare to medium rare. Uh, Terry, peas and pearled onions. Pearled onions, like right, really. Un little baby onions in a jar. So funny. So, so funny. Um, Scrapbook Sister said, lima beans are yucky yesterday, today, and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Um, sparkling water, or bubbly water, okay? I'll call it bubbly water. Bubbly, I'll say bubbly H2O. Always reminded me of Alka-Seltzer. But I like it now. Bubbly water, um, sparkling water, kale. 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 Rhymes with Lale. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I didn't know what to say about kale. Uh, tonic. So I like tonic water. Um, tonic water has flavor. Uh, so tonic water um, has ingredient in it called quinine, uh, which if you didn't know, will glow in the dark. Um, but Tonic, so when I say like bubbly water, I mean like club soda, like club soda or um, Pellegrino or um, La Croix or, you know, one of those. Um, Joy Ellen, used to hate wine, grew up with Mo Mogan David and managed to, I, I don't know those, but it's probably like, um, I don't know, like something like... Uh, white Zinfandel. You used to be able to say back in the day like screw top wine because back in the day screw top wine was really 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 an expensive wine um, but now screw top wine there's a lot of screw top wine on the market because um, it doesn't use cork because it's screw top but um, cork is um, getting to be an endangered species. Oh Kathy have we done the list what you used to like and now hate? We have not. We, I don't think we've done that. I don't think so. I'll write it down. Um, used to like and now hate. That would be another good one. Kathy. Kathy. Open born. Boone's Farm. There we go. Boone's Farm, right? That's hilarious. Um, uh, Ms. L. Kale is a garnish not meant to be eaten. So that is going on my part two list. Uh, Costco has a bag salad that is kale and um, sunflower seeds and uh, cranberry, dried cranberries, and then some other leafy green in it too. It's very good. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not like getting a bag of kale and munching on it like it was a potato chip. I don't like it like that, but in certain cases, right? Okay. Uh, kale. The next thing is, oh, sushi. Sushi, 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 sushi. Um, especially tuna. Now, tuna, not tuna fish tuna, but like raw fish tuna. Love, love, love. Love, love so much. 
Um, what else do we have here? Oh, yes. Um, plain Greek yogurt. I used to really, really, really dislike plain Greek yogurt. Um, I don't, I can't eat flavored yogurt anymore. I don't like flavored yogurt. That would be on my list. Uh, things I used to like, but now don't like flavored yogurt. Um, it just, whenever I taste it, it tastes really fake to me for some reason, but I love a really good, like um, Faye, F-A-G-E. Um, their plain Greek yogurt is so good. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, nope to the sushi, yeah, sushi can be a, sushi can be one that's um, a little, a little controversial. Um, here's one. Day two hair. Day two hair. What I mean by that is um, I don't wash my hair every day. Uh, my hair is much healthier um, if I don't wash it every day. So day two hair would be my hair the day after I wash it. Day two hair always works really well for me. I used to hate day two hair because I used to have short hair. Uh, day two hair with short hair does not work at all. Uh, at least it didn't with mine. It was like sticking out everywhere and it just didn't work. So back then when I had shorter hair, uh, I had to wash it every day. But now I used to hate day two hair. Now I love day two hair. Um, Cindy, that's a good one. Cindy said, I used to hate staying home. Always wanted to be going, going, going. No, I love staying at home, right? That's, I mean, and part of me wonders if that's like an age thing. I mean, not for you, but like for me, is that an age thing or is it just a, you know, change? Sarah, I used to hate sewing and cooking and now I enjoy it. Oh, that reminds me. Mm -mm -mm. Things I still hate. Cooking. That's go that's go my list for next for next one. Um, Kathy said I'm the same with my hair. Love day two hair. Uh, Scrapbook sister said I'm with Cindy. Um, Cindy staying at home and now enjoy it. Uh, yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, day two hair. Almost done with this list, friends. Um, oh, camping, camping. But then Harvey. makes a big difference. Harvey is our RV. Um, I do not like tent camping. I don't like getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom outside of the tent. Um, but our RV makes camping quite fun now. That's the one Nick thought of for me last night, so that was good. Um, another one, waking up early. Uh, waking up early. I used to hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I love waking up early. I love when I wake up before the alarm. I know, well, I don't send an alarm often. Um, on Saturdays, I set an alarm because I like to wake up at six so I can have leisurely coffee and have plenty of time to be ready. Um, so Saturdays, unless I have to catch a flight or something, that's usually the only time I, I set an alarm because I wake up early automatically. Sometime between like 5.30 and seven is usually when I wake up, but I love to wake up early. Um, and I love it when I wake up before the alarm because then you're not like jolted awake by the alarm. You're like, oh, my eyes open. I'm awake. Um, all right, the last one on my list. And I added this one this morning. Watching golf on TV. I used to hate watching golf. Hate, 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 like hate. I'm like, why would anybody watch this? It like makes you fall asleep. It's so silly, da, 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 whatever. Well, over the last probably 10 years, as Nick's gotten more and more into golf, then a lot of times golf is on at our house. So, um, and we were watching this morning, we're having coffee in bed and watching the, the open. And I thought, yes, I used to hate watching golf and now I like watching golf on TV. Okay, so here we go. There is my list, super simple, quick, quickish, right? Quickish. Um, it's Darium said, speaking of coffee, Lail, which Raiden cup did you use today? Um, oh, it's right across the room. The one that says caffeine. The one that says caffeine. Uh, Nick brings me coffee in the morning. He's such a good guy. He brings me coffee in the morning. He usually picks them out. Like the one, the Friday one is always the one that says Frye. It's always the Frye one. Okay, used to hate, now I love. This is a really important one that you date, right? You gotta date this because used to, now, like when, when was, when, when is now? Because if I did this 10 years from now, 
this could be totally different. These could be the things I used to love, now I hate, right? You never know. So we'll just um, make our little date here. Uh, we'll just do this. We're going to do 7, 22, 23. Okay, we just did a little teeny date right there because they didn't really leave room for much more date. All right, so I am saving this page. What I'm going to do, just because um, I know what will happen, if I don't do this, let me go over to my little um, little area here of sticky notes. And I'm going to put this on here. This list for next week is used to hate, still hate, basically, okay? Used to hate and still hate. I know, hate's a strong word, but that's okay. Hate, hat. So now I remember. I'll remember, hopefully. You guys will help me remember. All right, um, we are ready for our third list, okay? Our third list is recent purchases. So um, this is also another time capsule list, right? Time ca Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, these were off to the side, and then because they weren't in front of me, I totally forgot to use them. So um, what I was thinking I was going to do with these, uh, those little letters, which, 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 hang on. What I did uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago, I don't know when it was, was it May? No. Oh, this one, House Rules, which I still have to finish up. Um, I used some of those little letter stickers to um, spell just some words, not all the words, right? Uh, some words, and then I, um, that's what I was going to do, and then I forgot because they were off to the side, but that's all right. That's okay. Okay, let's get these guys put away. So guess what? Now, um, these things that I did not use now get added to the pile um, some new, um, quite a bit of it is new, some gently used like this, like, oh, look, I used one label sticker. Oh, look, I used a couple of these letters. Oh, look, I used some of the hearts. Um, that is one of the prizes, all of that extra that I showed earlier, um, stuff from the Sunkiss collection, since I um, won't really be using it much anymore. Well, at all. Okay. Um, our last list, recent purchases. Um, recent purchases. Huh. Shanna, 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 Shanna. Shanna said, fun topic, just can't let the hubby see this one, right? I know, I know. What they don't know won't hurt them. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I am going to use the, I haven't used this one in a while, Woodland Grove, Woodland Grove Collection. So I know I want a piece of patterned paper for the base. I just don't know which one yet. Let's look. These are some that I had pulled out from early, well, last time I used this collection. Uh, Woodland Grove, Parasol. Um, there are, well, Parasol's Maggie Holmes. No, this one's Maggie Holmes too. Um, there are a number of collections like this that are, Gingham Gardens is another one, that are super neutral, that are just fun to pull out when you don't really need any specific theme for a list. Well, kind of like all the lists that we've done today. We didn't need a specific theme. This is it. This is it. And now that I see these two together, okay, that little product strip there. I'm going to use, I think, both of these together. All right, um, I have some of the die cuts here. Let's pull out the sticker book. Oh, I've got all kinds of things um, mixed up in here. Ah! Sticker book, a um, bunch of papery pieces, clips, all kinds of things. So let me put this off to the side for a sec. And put this off to the side. I think this will be the base. I am going to be using another stamp. Uh, did I get that put away yet? My other ones, hang on. Let's just put these away. I don't know what I did with the loved one. Uh, so I didn't put it away yet. We are using the library card stamp. 
the library card stamp. We've not used this one in a long time. So we're using library card stamp and a library card pocket. Oh, here it is. Let me just, um, where did the stamp sleeve go that it goes in? Oh, well, I'll put that off to the side. I'll find that later. I'll find it later. Okay, um, so we're going to use the library card. We're going to use a library card pocket. Oh, Colleen, I missed it. It's funny, I saw it at 1231. I said, oh, it's almost angel time, and then I missed it. Um, all right, so I have pulled a library card pocket out. This is a giant sticker. I have these in two versions on the website. Uh, one is just, one set is just the pockets. Another set is the pocket with the library cards. Now, they're not, um, they're not the library card stamp. They are, oh, hang on. Hey, So this is the difference. One pack comes like that with the actual library card in the pocket. The other pack just comes like this where they're just the pocket because just the pocket, then we use the library card stamp which is why I created a library card stamp because I love using these. They're great for lists, they're great for journaling. Um, the problem is when you've got the library card itself, all those things kind of get in the way of writing. So I created the library card stamp that gives you the library card without all of those vertical lines and the words that we don't want there. So this is the second prize for today. Second prize is the library card stamp, and a set of the library card pockets. All right, so let me just show you part of my workflow, and then I will actually make one of these. I will create the stamp, not create the stamp, I will stamp it, but I have in my stash a whole bunch of these that I have pre-stamped so that when I want to use one of these and I'm not, you know, working with you guys, I just pull it out because it's already done. So if I'm gonna go to the time and trouble, when I am crafting on my own to stamp one of these, I might as well stamp like a 20 of them and then I have them all ready to go, right? So then I don't have to, next time I wanna use it, pull out the stamp and do all that. Because sometimes doing that, um, knowing that we have to do that, stops us from actually using it, right? Using our stuff. So if you have stamps like that in your stash, if you have stamps like that in your stash that you can, um, you know, do a little pre-work and get some ready to go for when you want to use it next time, then you'll thank yourself later because they'll be all ready to go. Kind of like the clipboard stamps that we use too. So, um, what I'm thinking is this, I might put there like that, or this will go here and then this will go here. And I know this is the way I want to do it because then I can use some of the fun die cuts and things to help decorate this a little bit. So this will be my base. And um, that needs to be trimmed to four and three quarters. So six by eight comes from the six by eight paper pad. I want to trim that to four and three quarters because that way I end up with a nice little white border all around that list, right? Because paper's eight, the height is 8.25. So now I've got a nice little even white border all the way around. We need our little corner rounder. So I'm going to round the um, left corners again because my insert has rounded corners. And I will go ahead and adhere this. I am going to pull out um, again my double-sided tape because I need to get that edge, uh, the adhesive super close to that edge and I want to uh, make sure it's really strong so it doesn't um, lift up from that edge. Just because, again, we're getting so deep into the Traveler's Notebook insert that it is um, having to bend, right? That page is having to bend at the center because there's so much that has happened prior. Uh, let's see, I'm missing some things. Hang on. Oh, we're talking about some of the things that we bought, right? Some of the things that we bought. Um, Scrapbook Sister just bought two Disney backpacks. What's on your list, you guys? Even if you're not listing, tell me what um, would be on your recent purchases list. Uh, 
Sh uh, Terry said, Shanna, your comment reminds me of the frequent customer at Archivers that would pay with a check. But in her checkbook, she wrote King Supers grocery store. So her husband wouldn't know how much. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That is too funny. Um, let's see. I, I figure you guys are, I mean, you guys, I end up with so much extra product, right? I can only use so much um, before it's time to use something else, right? Because new stuff's always coming in. So I figure I might as well share it with you guys, even if I've used a couple of the papers um, or used a sticker or two off the sheet. Now, there's so much in that Sunkist collection that um, I didn't even crack open. Um, so, but I figure I might as well share. Might as well share. Um, a pet snail for my fish. Okay, what? I gotta wrap my head around that. Lauren in the yarn said a pet, so she just recently bought a pet snail for her fish. Like, that's where I'm like, wait a minute, what? I don't understand that. So is that to keep your fish company in like the fish tank? Help me, help me. Uh, Oh, Julie, right. Julie, I remember seeing that. Julie said earlier that she'd gone to Hobby Lobby, right? And you bought a shadow box for your husband's Boy Scout memorabilia. Oh, how fun. That is so nice. That's so nice of you to do that, to get all of his memorabilia probably out of a box and to put it, um, it on display. Love that. Um, Susan bought a golf-themed swaddle blanket. Swaddle blanket for soon-to-be grandbaby. Oh, um, Diane, Christmas decorations and too many scrapbook supplies. Diane, 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 did you win or did I just? No, I think I remember. I think, um, I think, t I think I just did an order for you maybe yesterday. Am I right? Um, let's see. Deborah just bought a whole bunch of simple stories six by eight paper pads. Um, your beta fish has. Okay, I'm so confused. I still don't get it, Lauren. I'm just being blonde. Algae, <laughs> you bought algae. 2024 planners, a lot of stuff from Lael. Cindy, I love it. Yes, yeah, Cindy, you have, it's funny. Uh, I kept seeing another order came through with one thing and another order came through with two things. And um, Greasy creates peppermint or spearmint essential oil, Vicky Boot and Peppermint Kisses and Paige Evans Sugar Plum, which is both very good. Um, oh, yes, Tracy, those are amazing. Bike shorts, in quotations, to wear under dresses so your thighs don't chafe in the heat, yes. Um, skorts, Irene, me too. Uh, yes, I wear skorts in most days in place of shorts just because it's the much more attractive on me, I think. Um, oh yeah, there we go. That's why I held, you were on vacation. I knew that was ringing a bell. I knew that was ringing a bell. Okay. Um, audio books on chirp. Okay. So there's my background. Now I am going to uh, trim this little guy to go on the face of my pocket and I am going to leave a little bit of the border around, the pocket border around it, just so it's a little bit of border. I like to have white things, white things. So um, let's see here. Now what I should do, I should save, well, I would save it, but what I'm thinking is I should, since this is going to be a single page list, I could do something similar. Uh, for next week that I did when we did um, the list last week. So they could be two separate lists, but I could use some of the same product for, from the same collection to help it kind of the two go side by side. Because now I have those things that I could potentially use. All right, so this is going to go here. A little bit of a white border all the way around. And we need to outline that, of course. Um, Diane said, I never wear shorts, capris only. I get it. Very much get it. Um, my legs are so pasty white right now. It's time for self-tanner again. It's time for the self-tanner to come out. All righty. So there we go. There's the start of our list. Um, and my list will go in the pocket. So actually, well, I won't quite put this down yet because uh, I need to figure out how I want to decorate it. Mm -mm. So I, what I was going to do, now I have to see how my title is going to work because originally I'm just going to stamp the title on the pocket itself. But I'm not sure if that will work. So I have maybe two different ideas. 
Not maybe, I have two different ideas. Well, we can test something on this. So I could potentially um, just stamp directly on there, uh, or my title could go uh, on that part of the library card. We'll see, we shall see. Um, but I would like to see what I want to use for a little decoration on here. And I already think I know, I already think I know. I think I would like to use this one, this really pretty peacock. Uh, it's in the die cuts, it's in the six by 12 stickers, it's even in the sticker book. So it's in lots of pieces in the collection. And this is one you might be like, what in the heck would I use a peacock for? Well, here you go. It's generic, right? It's just like a tiger. Leopard. It's just like anything. All right, so there we go. That could work. Now, just because I didn't recently purchase a peacock doesn't mean I can't use a peacock to decorate my page, right? Yes. So, now I'm thinking, before I get too far, I'm going to have to see if I if I think I'll like this. So, let's get out um, Reggie Alpha. Reggie Alpha. New stamp set is Reggie Alpha. Hmm. Hang on, don't panic, nobody panic, don't panic yet. Oh, there's that, apparently I put that away for some reason. Where's Reggie Alpha? Hang on friends, is it big? Oh, there it is, ah, okay, that's my. It's in a different size thing than I was thinking. Um, let me just put this away. It needs to go in a different thing. Um, all right, there we go. So let's see how this is going to work. So, oh, first of all, recent purchases may not even fit. Let's just see, P-U-R-C-H, probably not. So that's not going to work, that's easy. I don't even need to try it because I know that those are not going to fit side by side. So then that means we are going to skip to a, an alpha sticker. So what might we want to use here? I just had a thought. There are quite a few pieces in the, oh look at, even in the papery. Um, in the papery pack, that could work kind of like that. And then I could put my title on it because it will end up being a little bit plain. Ooh, maybe this one. What if that goes like that and my little peacock goes there? Oh yes, I think I will like that. All right, so now let's find some recent purchases. Hmm. Purchases is a long word. Recent spends. What if I said recent spends? Does that make sense? Oh, Creative Cindy, drink break. Okay, good idea. Drink break. Mm. Mm. That is, I have two going. I think one's in the other room. I think I have iced tea in the other room with uh, true lime, and then I think that one's water with true lime. That's what it tastes like. You know, sometimes iced tea and water sound similar, taste similar. All right. I think I'm going to say recent spends because purchases just doesn't, it just doesn't really fit. Recent spends. What are things I've spent money on recently? Um, why not put your title on the page instead of the pocket? Um, I could totally do that, for sure. I could do that. Um, on my library card, up here. We'll see. We shall see. You guys wanna see something funny? Um, I have two in here because this is the nice bright one that you can see. Look at that. That, and it works just as well. 
Recent buys. Oh, there we go. Rock buys. Recent buys. There we go. Recent buys. I like that because then you know what? I, okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Um, that sometimes I um, use. I make library cards and include them. Include them in my project kits. That would be one that has been used many, 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 many times. Recent buys. I like it. Recent buys. Okay, so if this goes here, and then I can put. I'll write recent and then do buys. So I could go back to Reggie if I want. I could go back to, oh, speaking of Reggie, I don't think I told you guys this. So this stamp is named after Sam's cat. Sam's cat is named Reggie. Uh, guess who um, will be an extended visitor in the Concar family household? Reggie. Uh, <coughs> Sam doesn't live with us. Sam lives on his own and is moving from one apartment uh, and then moving in with some different friends. And um, where he's moving, one of the friends is deathly, oh, not deathly, okay, um, very allergic to cats. So Reggie cannot go with Sam. So Sam's parents, Lael and Nick, are um, letting Reggie come to stay. So we'll have a kitty for a while. Be... I'm not sure how long a while is. I think we'll do it maybe all uppercase. B U Y S. Let's see. B U Y S. Bye. So are we gonna like that? Normally I don't use uppercase things. I think that will work. Okay, but I better get this guy down. I feel like he needs to go down there. Like that. All right, um, we need a stamping block. Ooh, will it fit on here? Maybe not. Oh yeah, I think we're okay. Maybe. I'm gonna do something different. I am going to use Um, I don't think I knew that. I do not think that these little guys, lots of you have bought these little guys, the two little um, acrylic, round acrylic blocks. Look at the Reggie Alpha fits on the larger of the two. Um, I like to, this is just me being weird. It's just, I like, instead of um, stamping, when I stamp a word, instead of stamping all the letters at the same time, I like to stamp them individually. The reason I like to do that is then I get to control how close together they are. Um, the nature of stamps like this versus a, well, I guess, no, even red, even the red stamps um, have the extra material around them. So with the extra material, I can't quite get in as close as I would like to. So I like to stamp them individually. Um, we're back to our VersaFine Claire again, the black. Now, that's interesting. I'm pretty certain that that is not my set that I um, have used in the past because I don't think those have been conditioned yet. Oh, so cute. Okay. Um... Oh, now, <laughs> B-U-Y-S, I guess we'll just have to guess. We'll just have to guess where that one should start. I'm gonna pull back a little bit, you guys, so um, I'm a little bit closer to it, okay? B. Clean them off right away. It's just easier that way. Okay. See what I just did? I just dragged my hand across that ink pad. No worries. I have wipes. Always a good idea um, to have. 
Well, I can't just run into the restroom right now and clean my stamp, I mean, clean my hands, right? So, I always have wipes in my uh, studio, my craft space, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you don't have wipes, just have a wet paper towel or something with you so that if you do that, you can clean them quickly uh, before you get your black ink everywhere, right? That was not uh, very smart of me. Let's move that over to the side a little bit. All right. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. I was way too far over. I started way too far over, I think. I think, I think, I think. I started way too over to the left. That's all right. It's okay. That way you know it's hand done, right? That way you know it's handmade. Oh, Lil, look it also on that. What the heck did I do there? I don't even know how I did that. Making a mess. That's how you know I've been here, because I make a mess. Although, every time I've been in here, working away in my craft room or studio, um, I have uh, cleaned it up, so it still looks nice and new. I'm sure that won't last for long, but. B-U-Y-S, okay. I don't use uppercase often at all. Um, Julie said she previously lip, sorry you keep getting a flash of my scalp, that's not very nice. Um, lived in a city, the peacock is their city symbol. Oh, that's fun. Um, Oh, Colleen probably missed you. Um, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, Cherie said, best wishes with Reggie. We ended up with our pups, a girl Charlie Tank and Bear who stayed with us long enough to be in what we now call our senior hospice care. Oh, I know, right? And it's, you know, here's the deal. Nick told both the boys. So Sam is 22, Jack is 25. Told both the boys years ago. Do not get a pet until you have your own place, as in you own your own home. Do not get a pet until then because um, it can prevent you from needing to move somewhere that you need to move that doesn't allow pets. So then what do you do? So do not get a pet until you own your own home. Well, yeah, Sam got a cat and Reggie is sweet. And Reggie comes over to visit, so Reggie will at least be familiar with our house. Every time Sam comes over the last month or two, Reggie comes to visit. Uh, oh, golly, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. Um, recent buys. Oh, well, it is what it is, huh? It is what it is. Maybe I'll find something little to put there. Okay, recent buys. Now, this goes here. And my little, let's get the card. Let's get the library card. So library card. You can stamp on anything you want. You can stamp on pattern paper. You can stamp on cardstock. Really doesn't matter. Um, and I do both. Just depends. So let's grab some white cardstock because I will do white cardstock here. Um... My piece left over. Um, I need a larger stamping block. Now, um, I could, we talk about having a large, uh, needing a large stamping block and being able to use your um, pencil board for it. You could do that in a pinch, but I will use the large one that I have. Um, exclamation, there you go, an explanation. Ex oh my gosh, guess what, dirt. I do have an exclamation point on the stamp set because there's punctuation on there. Um, oh, and when, um, when this stamp set was conceived, actually even when it was manufactured, there was no, uh, there was no Reggie uh, in our picture. I mean, Sam had Reggie, but we did not know Reggie would be um, becoming an extended house guest. Um, oh, 
Oh my. Oh yeah, I don't have a I don't have a money one. I'm sure there's a money one somewhere. I'm sure there's a money one somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, actually, okay, hang on. I do have all my stamps organized, so hang on. I know that I don't have a money sign in um, any of my stamps, like mail by mail stamps. I'm just looking, looking, looking. Wouldn't it be awesome if you had like this cross-reference database and you could say dollar sign and then you'd, it would tell you which one of your stamps had it and then where it was. Wouldn't that be so cool? Yeah, no, I don't have that. That'd take a lot of work. I mean, it'd be awesome if you did, but I'm just looking, friends, hang on. I'm in my miscellaneous stamp section. Um, I wonder, what about a sticker? Yeah, there's no dollar sign. Oh, but I don't even need a miscellaneous. Okay, one more thought, really quick, one more thought. Um, if I go to the alpha, I'm looking, ampersands, pound signs, number sign, no dollar sign. Oh, if you saw how many, um, if you could see how many alphabet stamp sets, ooh, I found one! I found one! Wait, there! Okay, hang on, I'm just looking for one more time. I'm just looking for one more time. To see if there's any other dollar signs. I think that's going to be it. Apparently, dollar sign is not an often used, a common used, yep, okay, here we go. That'll work. That will work right there. I guess, you're right, I could use a colon for sure. Um, Lauren said she needs that like triple dollar sign because they just had to buy a new heat pump, air, AC system, oh my goodness. Um, oh, Jill, yes, yeah. so Jill said on the plus side, Sam now has an incentive to visit you a lot so he can visit Reggie too. Oh yeah, so no, we put some stipulations on it. Absolutely, we put stipulations on it. Um, stipulation number one, when um, the, the first night he stays here, I said the first few nights he stays here, you need to sleep over because your poor cat is gonna be wondering what the heck is going on. So you need to sleep over with Reggie, okay, no problem. Second stipulation, you need to come at least twice a week because you need to clean the litter box. Not our cat, not our job. He said, okay, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, I know I know he will for sure, uh, you know, stay over the first couple nights. Oh, third stipulation was, Dad and I travel a lot. Um, and so if we are gone, you need to be here. You need to sleep over. If we're gone, you need to sleep over um, so Reggie's not by himself. Okay. So we'll see. I mean, Sam's a good kid. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Bye's. <laughs> okay. It works. It looks like two S's. Bye's. -s -s -s. Um, I might have to play with it a little bit. Like, what if I did this? I have an idea. What if I did this? Or I'm going to fix it, just a tad. Mm. I don't know, this could either work or not at all. Let's see. There we go. Well, it kind of works. <laughs> Kind of. I put um, like the little dollar signs on it. I can already tell you. Um, that probably will not stay. I will probably figure out something else to put there. Um, but it was a good thought. I, I make, it makes sense, totally makes sense that you'd have a dollar sign there. Um, if I had, what would be really cool is if I had a dollar sign in this set, then instead of the S, it would have the dollar sign there. Um, what set is the dollar sign from? This one, uh, it's it's not it's not one of mine, not, not a mail by mail. This is, I wanna say it's J, um, Jane Alpha, and I do have them on my website. It is a mm, Ellie's Studio, I want to say, Jane Alpha. So it has the uppercase, lowercase, your numbers and punctuation. 
Uh, there we go, a list to share with Sam someday. Stipulations for Reggie moving in with us. Yes, right, right, right. Oh, now what did I do with that? All right, oh, we'll just put that up to the side till I figure out what I did with that. All right, um, back to our library card. Mm, we need the big, my big, the largest one of the nesting little um, stamping blocks. And this will go, oh goodness. All right, so something I need to do with that. Um, I need, where would it be? In here. Oh, I know, it's in the mixed media section. Get it? Mixed media has water. Um, so I can feel on the back of this stamp set, I can even visually see it. It's not very sticky. Uh, it has lint and dust. I need to uh, clean it off. The reason I need to clean it off is because um, I need to make sure it sticks to the stamping block, right? I don't want it falling off the stamping block. So I'm just using uh, that little cloth to clean off the back. Just as you need to clean the front of your stamps, don't, don't, don't even go there with that one. Um, you need to clean off the back as well. Uh, every so often because um, it won't stick. It won't stick to the stamping block, and if they're smaller, right, it won't stick to the, the sheet. So if you're having problems with any of your stamps sticking to the stamping block or the sheet, go ahead and give it a little clean on the back side. And now this will work better. All right, white cardstock. I am stamping with black. I want to make sure to get that good and covered, right? Good and covered. No question this one's not been, I mean, no question this one's been used before. Nice and covered. I'm not going to test it. We'll just go ahead and stamp it. Now, what I was talking about before is, and especially if you feel like you wanna be creative, you wanna do something, you wanna do something crafty, but you don't wanna to have to think, get out your stamps, something like this that you know you would use a lot, and go ahead and get a bunch of them just pre-stamped and ready to go, so that when you are ready to use one, you have it ready to go. There we go. Beauty. Uh, I didn't get ink in one little spot there, so I'll show you how I fi I'll fix that, and you probably wouldn't even notice. Uh, let me just clean this. <laughs> let me just clean this off really quick. You're like, wow. Um, I can, if I really went scrubbing at this, I could get it all clean, but I won't do that right now. But it also, um, that is not going to affect my stamped image. Now, I probably wouldn't use yellow on this because really I should clean it. Um, like if I use a light color, that all that extra ink on there might affect it. Um, all right, now I need the, I'm just gonna dry this guy off. Ooh, look at my microfiber. <laughs> it's all dirty now. I need to throw that in the washing machine because it's all dirty from the black. Let's put that on the ground. Okay, so uh, I'll trim this little guy up. Now, I could, like we talked about, I could have stamped on pattern paper for my library card. I also could have used um, colored ink for my stamp. Instead of having it just be um, black, I could have used, oh, you know what I could have used? I could have used the peacock feathers. That would have been fun, right? Kind of that teal color. Now, there are a few spots here where I did not quite get it inked up. So, right up there, do you see that? How it's just a little faint? And right along there, it's just a little faint. Nothing wrong with it, but if I wanted to, I could come in with my black pen and just fill that in. 
And I could do the same thing over here, just fill it in if I wanted to. That's not the stamp, that's me not getting it inked everywhere. All right, so there we go. That is my little library card that will um, hit right in there. Now, what I'm thinking for up there, and I don't know um, if there was one that would work, this is what I was thinking earlier, was that I might find a snarky strip sticker. So let's see, and I would do that in black since it's a white background. Um, my favorite thing to make for dinner is reservations. We're lax, we're all crazy, it's not competitive. Marry someone who can cook, looks fate, hunger doesn't, but I'm just looking to see if there is something that would work there in relation to um, that would work in relation to what I, my topic is. I don't mean to brag, but I finished my 14 day diet in three hours and 12 minutes. I wish my life had background music so I could understand what the heck is going on. She said, that's a lot of money to spend on crafts, and I knew we couldn't be friends. That one is hilarious. Um, let's just, I'm just hoping one jumps out at me. I didn't see anyone today, so I'm wearing this again tomorrow. That's a good one, right? That is a good one. Um, oh, Wendy, that's a good idea. A, a small shopping bag, like, right, if you had a little shopping bag or something that would work, or a little um, shopping cart stamp. Um, oh, how about this one? So when is this old enough to know better supposed to kick in? That one kind of works, right? Like in terms of spending, I think I'm going to use that one. So obviously way too wide and I don't need all this extra stuff here. And let's see now if that goes up here. There we go. So when is this old enough to know better supposed to kick in? <laughs> like don't spend all the money. Like don't spend all the money. Oh, currency, the math stamps, the currency stamps. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. All right, so now the list, the list, the list, the list. So it's gonna be pretty simple. It's basically just going to go like that. Although I need one more little thing under there. We'll figure that out later. Okay, um, recent buys. Here we go. These are the recent buys. These are just the things on my list. Um, this has been on a list for a couple of weeks because uh, it came to my mind during Amazon Prime days, the two Amazon Prime days, because I did, um, yes, I bought some things on the Amazon Prime days. Marily, yes, that is the snarky one. Uh, so there are four that I have. I have the Small Talk, which is the regular one, Small Talk Snarky, Clippings, and um, what's the other one? Oh, Chit Chat. So Small Talk is, you know, just phrases things but aren't snarky. Life was meant for a great adventure. Hold on tight to your dreams. Be you bravely. Clippings is fun because clippings look like they are clipped out of a book, Right? Um, which, you know what, we could actually, we may use one of these um, below. And then you have chit chat. So chit chat is just small little single words. And all of them you have the black versions and white versions. So little long look made. What's nice about these, all in alphabetical order. So you're not looking for, you know, something that may not be there. Like if you're looking for food, you don't have to look for the whole sheet. You go friends, friendship, family. Oh, actually though, not really. Friends, friendship, and then family comes after friends and friendship in this world, but all together. Mostly, we'll say mostly, mm, you know what? No, I, no, I lied. I lied. Um, because they, yeah, no, they're not like that. Some are and some aren't. Some are grouped by topic, like mother, father, brother, sister, child, and then others are not. Anyhow, those are four packs of those. 
Okay, so things that are on, or things that not on my shopping list, things that I bought. Um, a Mac laptop charger, because I needed a new one of those, because the prong is bent on the current one, and it works, but barely. Um, I know what I'm going to do here. I am going to pull out a, nope, not that one, hang on. Um, a set of dot markers because I'm thinking this one, one of these, let's look. One of the two of these in the set. This is called Mild Smoky. Um, there are two colors that kind of, I'll use this guy as my little bullets in between. All right. Oh, I should have put one at the beginning. I didn't. That's okay. Uh, Mac laptop charger. Um, drawer trays. I'll put one here. Um, drawer, drawer trays for the pull-out drawer in my um, newly renovated craft room. Um, lace trim and a lot of it for a project that I am teaching at Ready, Set, Create. Ready, set, create. Um, I know some of you are going to that. Oh, I'm so excited about this project. You can't even believe it. Um, let's see. Marilee, yeah, snarky one. Will you write the price? Um, creative Sydney. Oh, um, no, Sydney. Cindy, I will not write the price because I don't, I did not write the prices down ahead of time, but that would be fun. That would be really fun. You know what you could do if you wanted to write the price? You could have multiple cards, right? So if you're writing something price, something price, and if you've been buying a lot, um, then you could have multiple cards in your little library card pocket. So yes, lots of lace trim um, for that project class. Uh, where are we? Oh, magnetic light strips. Uh, for some of the shelves um, that product is on. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier with the mag magnetic light strips to see uh, as the shelves go back a ways. Um, a steamer slash iron combo. Have not taken that out of the box yet, so I haven't tried it, so we'll see. Um, wallpaper. Uh, I bought um, several wallpapers. Uh, one that is behind me in the shelves, um, and that's put up. I bought another wallpaper for one big wall in the laundry room that has not been done yet. Um, a USB charger station uh, for said magnetic light strips. They are all, oops, you get that one out of the way. Um, they are all on a little USB. That's how they charge. So then a little, you know, thing like this, it has like eight little USB plugs to it. Um, ah, for Nick, cooling arm sleeves. For Nick, for golfing. So they're basically just like little white sleeves that you put over your arms, because when he's this time of year out in the sun a lot golfing, so he said he wanted those, and I said, okay. A, this was an Amazon. Um, smart bird feeder camera. So it's a bird feeder that has a, um, a little camera in it, and then an app, so you can watch little birds eat out of it. Um, I've been looking at those for a while and I found it on Amazon Prime at a good price. So I bought one of those. Nick still has to put it together. Um, oh, look it. Yes, yes, yes. Look it. So I'll see Mary Lee at Ready, Set, Create. Susan at Ready, Set, Create. Kay Milani, which is another Susan at um, Ready, Set, Create. I'm misinformed. I don't know what I did. I don't know. I know I said something about lying, missing informed. Yeah. Um, okay. Where are we? Um bike cover for Harvey. Uh, the last one, 
somehow got ruined on our last trip. So a bike cover for our e-bikes that go on the back of Harvey. Um, some coffee table books because I borrowed permanently uh, two from our front entryway that are now behind me, so I needed to replace those. A um, Dyson vacuum replacement battery, which is a third party. It is not made by Dyson. You can buy them by Dyson, but they're much less expensive and they work really well. This is the second one I bought. Um, pillow protectors. I decided that I'd like to have um, pillow protectors. So you put them on over the pillow before you put on your pillowcase. And then it just kind of makes your pillows last longer. And so, um, yes, bought those also on Prime Day. Um, I, I haven't said like the time frame of this, so it's just recent-ish. Um, oh, also another Prime Day. Teeth whitening strips that came highly recommended by several people, so I thought I'm gonna try those. Um, oh yes, LED photography slash filming lighting. Those are my new lights, which are night and day different, much brighter, and also they're not hot at all. Um, True Lime, because I'm also, all not also, always buying more True Lime, love that. And then, um, Bug Spray. For the mosquitoes. All right, so that's my list, okay? That is my list, those are some recent buys. Um, this one, you guys, obviously, that's a very much a time frame list, because, um, there's some things on there that like the golf, the, like the cooling sleeves for Nick golfing, uh, like the studio lights, like the door, drawer trays for my newly renovated designed, whatever craft room studio. Um, so very much a time capsule. If I had um, been doing this list when our kids were little, they'd probably have things like Legos and, um, diapers and, you know, I don't know, whatever I was buying back then. Totally different things then no. All right, so let's put those away. And let's see how we're going to wrap this list up. Let's see how we're going to wrap this list up. Um, I know I need to date it, right? So let's put this guy on. Oh, I should, look it, it's a sticker. I don't even need my adhesive, duh. One big sticker. Let's see. There we go. We'll put that a little bit up higher. Okay. Now I have an idea. I think I might, oh, I can't borrow that because I already used it. I need a label sticker or label die cut. So, I have those here. This is just one box of labels. So look at this one, this yellow. I think this yellow would work very well. I am going to, so this is similar to, just from a different collection, um, label stickers from Pretty Little Studio. So I always, always, always get those and use those because they just really come in handy. And then when it's outside of the collection, um, you don't even know what that is, it's just color. You don't know that this was a winter collection, it's just color, color. That was frosty fun. So I am going to use the, it's a date stamp. And I am going to put this right, let's see, what do we wanna use? Well, I could just use this little one that says date. We could make it super easy. So we could just put like date right there like that. I think that's what we will do. Okay, and that will go right there. 
Now, I can make it really easy on myself. Don't worry, I'll test it first. Uh, but I can make it really easy on myself by stamping on the sheet instead of putting it on the book and then stamping it on the book. Where did that go? Where did my stamping book go? Oh well, we will just stamp it on here. We'll stamp on here to test, no idea. No idea. Um, oh, you guys are talking about the printer, yeah? About the Epson Picture Mate that um, was on sale for um, Prime Day, but then, I don't know if it still is, but um, it was still on sale as recent as I want to say maybe last week, earlier this week, because I checked. Um, they were sold out, but um, they were still honoring the price and then said on Amazon that um, you wouldn't be charged until it shipped. Oh, guess what I meant to do? Oh, good thing that worked out. I was going to test it first. I didn't test it first. Eee! Yikes. Okay, it's okay. Now, that before I touch it, I need to let it dry a minute because I don't want to pull that off. I don't want to pull it off and then have it smear. So let's clean that off. We'll put this away. It'll give us a chance to kind of um, get our little things cleaned up here while we let that ink dry for just a sec. It needs to dry for just a sec because it's um, pigment-based ink. Pigment-based inks, I call them juicy inks. That's not like a terminology. That's just a layout thing. I call them juicy inks. Uh, Pigment-based inks usually are a little bit more opaque, um, but they take a little bit to dry. Okay, so this would be July 2023. And we'll grab our little tweezers, pull that off. And more so for me, it makes it so easy to place the stickers. Pulling off is one thing, but when you're trying to hold on to it and place it and figure out where you want it to go. Okay, there we go. It's like that yellow color was meant for that. Okay, our third list, recent buys. Library card stamp, library card pocket, Reggie, and it's a date. And Woodland Grove. Okay, friends, oh my gosh, 130. This is like the shortest one I've done in a long time, right? Even it, I'm like, oh, this won't take long at all. It's only three lists and two of them are single page. Yeah, that never happens, but we chat and have fun. And All right, so I am going to, let me turn off these lights and I will flip the camera and then we will um, say our goodbyes. Um, remember, 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 we will not be together listing again until August 12th. August 12th, 2023. We will not be listing together until then because I will be out of town next weekend. And then the next weekend, I'll be out of town, but teaching. Uh, hold on. Rotate, rotate. Here we go. Oh, Sandy, Powerball and Mega Million tickets. You won $4. Uh, so Nick was in. Nick was in. Uh, he was flying home from a business trip and was in Ohio and then uh, was in was in Ohio and then had a layover in Detroit. So he could buy lottery tickets at the airport in Detroit. So he bought some and we didn't win. <laughs> Dang it. It's always fun to just, you know, hope, right? Hope for a day or two and think about what you'd buy. We have done a list in the past um, if I won a lottery. That was a fun one. Uh, so uh, let me see, let me see. Um, yes, Creative Cindy, we are done. We did our three lists, so we are done for today. Uh, we won't be together again, you guys, until Saturday, August 12th. There are two giveaways today. Uh, one is all of the left, not leftover, that sounds horrible. Um, my remaining stash of Sunkist, of uh, the product that I have been using. Some of it hasn't been used at all. Um, and then what has been used is obviously just gently used because I've used them on maybe four or five lists. So that is one prize. That's a big one. Um, and then the other prize is the, um, the library card stamp and the packet of library card pocket. So what I just used in the last list. Uh, the way you participate in the prizes, it's an after party prize, uh, meaning you leave a comment on the video after it's over. So not in the chat after it's over. A um, couple things coming up. 
uh, there'll be a What's New Wednesday this night because um, loads and loads and loads of things that should be coming starting today and into next week. Um, the new 49 and Market Christmas collection and the um, their summer collection, which is super fun and really vibrant summery colors, um, which will be fun to play with. Um, not next week, because ship's Tuesday. So the following week, I'll have another new summer collection because Sunkiss was like spring, summer. Um, totally different summer collection from Pretty Little Studio. And I'm hoping that today, um, the things, well, one order coming from American Crafts, I'm hoping is Chamel's new collection and then the new um, crepe paper, the Moonlit something or other. Can't remember what that is. And then the Simple Story stuff is coming probably in a couple weeks. Anyhow. So we'll do a What's New Wednesday, and I will show you what is New Wednesday. Um, what else? What else? I think that's all we have to talk about, friends. Uh, I think that is all. So um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I love our Saturdays together, and I'm going to miss them the next two because I love hanging out with you guys, and I love just crafting and creating just for the sake of it. There's no agenda here other than list topics, but um, we just get to play. And that's what I love so much about um, all this stuff is just being able to sit down and play and not having any constraints or any rules or, oh my gosh, I've got to create a two page layout for this class or I have to do a mini book for this. It's just all play. So um, I love it. And I thank you guys for giving me a place to do it. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your weekend, but also it's going to be two weeks, two weeks, three weeks. One, two, two, three, whatever. We'll be together again August 12th, however many weeks that is. So um, stay safe, be happy, stay healthy. Uh, those of you that are recovering, um, recover well. Those of you that are getting ready to need a recovery from something, good luck with that. And then uh, happy recovering. And those of you that are going on trips, because I know some of you are going on your trips, um, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And um, I hope to see you back here again. Uh, in a couple weeks, and if not, maybe on a Wednesday. Okay, I'll um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining.